All right, there we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the stream. As always, I am Forever Mad Dog, and today we're playing some more Echoes of Wisdom. Um, quick question, can you guys hear the game? Because I had to mess with the settings today, and I hope you guys can hear the game. <coughs> uh. Yes? Okay, cool, good, good. I was a little afraid, I'm like, oh man, maybe they can't hear the game, but no, okay. If you guys can hear the game, then that's that's good. Did we do everything here? Yeah. The last time we played, we explored a bit. We came here to Kakariko, and I said, I'm pretty sure it's Kakariko. And we found some dream training. I did do everything here, okay. Cool. So now we can move on then. And there were a couple more quests we can do here, and a few more buildings we can go into. Bok Bok, please come back! Hey you, could you lend me a hand? For some reason, my dear sweet cuckoos decided to escape over the fence this morning. They're running away from me, the little rebels, and we were getting along so well. If you managed to hold, get a hold of my cuckoos, could you put them back in this pen? There are five cuckoos total, please, I need your help. Ah, oh, we're doing this again, huh? But hey, how's it going, Rox? Ah. Cat. Wait. I can talk to the cat with the cursed clothes. You want to send cats? That's rare for your kind. I'm looking for- Oh, I'm still doing this quest. Oh, the cat lives with the old man? I've been very busy sunbathing and don't know. Check with the one on top of the windmill over to the west. Windmill? I completely forgot that I still have this quest to do. I haven't found the guy's cat yet. On top? Oh, there's one on top of the windmill. <laughs> I'm actually shocked to find out that we didn't finish this quest uh, yesterday. Need something, hon? I'm looking for a cat. The old man's friend? I just saw her. She found a nice tree by the road from the east entrance to the village and climbed up for a nap. It takes long naps, so I'm sure she's still there. East road to the village? I'm gonna be too busy somebody, but I have a job. This isn't. This is not being a trophy if life isn't doing me any favors. Fair enough. Is that a cat? That's a bird. A nice tree from the road leading east. That's a bird. I found a cat. Hmm? I was asleep. What's going on? Oh, my person friend is looking for me? I guess I haven't sleeping here a long time. Hungry too. Guess I'll head home for a snack. Now I can take off this stupid cat clothes. <laughs> I, I wish the cat clothes looked better, but I'm honestly not too surprised. <coughs> oh, it's you. My kitty came home. You helped her home, didn't you? Please take this as a token of my gratitude. I got grapes. Cats are such fickle little creatures, following their fancy wherever it takes them. But I suppose that's what we find so adorable about the rotten beasts. I was expecting to get more from it, but alright, that's fine. We got the cat suit, so... I guess that's interesting enough. This is three, so I know there's one by the graveyard, and I need to find the last one. Why is this grave broken? No clue. That one in? 
Yes, that one went in. Good. One more. I see a cat. Should be in the village somewhere. Maybe it's in a box. It's not in a box. Oh, it's a smoothie shop. Okay. I don't think this is it. Maybe it's over here by the windmill. No, definitely not. Because I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. There wouldn't be one down here, right? No, there's a chest. That's kind of cool. <coughs> oh, with more grapes. I don't want... I don't really want well grapes. But I guess I got them now. <laughs> I just love the idea of like... Oh hey, you helped me find my precious cat best friend. Here, have a, a a handful of grapes. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll I'll ask someone to do something for me, and then subtly imply that the reward will be money. And then when they finish it, I'll be like, here, have, have some grapes. And they're like, oh cool, what about my reward? I'm like, that was your reward. I, I, I gave you some grapes. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm still missing one of my darling cuckoos. Please bring my baby home. Where is it? Maybe one of the cats ate it. Don't. I found it. What are you doing up there, huh? Five stream streak. Nice. What does that mean, rocks? Oh no. Oh, we do glide. Nice. We can't jump though, which is a shame. Oh shit. Thank you for the, how, how many is that? Five gift subs? Yeah, thank you for the five gift subs, Rox. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but again, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, that a new record for me, level two hype train? That's cool. Thank goodness you brought all my dear sweet cuckoos home. I'm so grateful. Please come this way. Oh. <laughs> ah, my neck. Advantage of Twitch giving free ones with five. Wait, what? Free ones? I get that it's like September or whatever, but. Oh, hey, Stern. Thank you for the sub. Wait, didn't you just subscribe the other day? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, I'm so glad all my cuckoos are back. As for why they ran away in the first place, I think the refreshing grapes I gave them for breakfast might have been too sour. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you for the five gift subs, Stern. <laughs> you guys absolutely don't have to, but thank you so much.
<laughs> Level four, oh hell yeah. <laughs> my dogs can be rather picky eaters. Anyway, thank you, and here's a little reward for helping me with my little scamps. Is it more grapes? A bottle! Okay, I'll take that, gladly. By the way, did you know, if you lift a cook over your head and jump from a high place, it'll glide through the air. And Twitch did give... <coughs> I got two subs from Twitch. See, again, thank you so much for that, guys. You absolutely do not have to, but it is much appreciated. <laughs> is there anything I can do in Kakariko for now? It might be. We have free five dollars, yeah. New sub goal, we beat the ten. Wait, did I have a sub goal for ten? I didn't have one down, but I probably said I, I probably said that I'd make a sub goal for something. Let's pop that off, drop by the shop. What did I say I would do once we hit ten subs? I I I'm, I thought I said I vaguely remember saying something, but I don't know what I said. <laughs> Can I drop down here? Oh, I can't be Santa. <laughs> That's disappointing. Okay, um. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go. Or oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm for ten few. Oh. Okay. Huh. Weird. Still okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, I guess I just start going up the volcano then, huh? Oh no, I want to check this out because I don't remember if I did anything there. Right. I probably did stuff here. But I don't remember for sure. Where is? Be fascists go through here. Where's the carrot? I heard some rifts appear in El's volcano around Goron City. It can't be easy for the Gorons. Horse. It's horsey time. We've been in that cave already. So says our map. I haven't been here yet. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> <coughs> I've used them almost as much as I've used Zelda's bed. Nice. Oh, that's a new that's a new heart. I have 13 hearts now. Hell yeah. Have I been up there? Oh, I don't think I've been over here yet. Wait. This is just the sanctuary, isn't it? It's a little different than it used to be, but this is just the sanctuary. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. Oh great, now I need to think of some idea for uh for some sort of gift back for all these subs. <laughs> I can sense my friends here, they're trapped. They're trapped in three areas to be exact. If you rescue them all, we can fix this rift. Uh Oh, ghosts! Uh-oh. Uh, I have something to deal with ghosts, actually. I received a level 3 hype train emote. Ooh. I have way more emotes I need to make now. <laughs> Is this a Poe, or...? 
Guinea. Oh no, I have Poe. I have Poe right here. Guinea. Eternally long. Oh. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Eternally lonely, this one-eyed ghost has an unfortunate tendency to lick potential friends. Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> huh? All these rocks in the fucking way. <laughs> and it's entirely my fault for moving them like this. Oh, here's one, okay. How do I... What do I need to push this? boulders but oh I'm stupid there we go <laughs> okay two more there's one here I see how to get to it What accessories do I have equipped? <laughs> oh, core. Okay, these just Twitch normal hype train. Okay. That would make sense. Alright. Cool. Uh, I don't need that one. Give me. That one, I guess. I drop through and mash eight. There we go, I got it. If I just jump in and I mash A, it works. Ah. Uh, I guess the last one's probably in the sanctuary. Nice hype emote. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to check the uh, the emotes I can make now, or the emotes I can uh, have now, because it's probably way more now. Okay, that's that rift done. Any more emote slots? Uh, let me actually check. Uh, but probably... Oh, offer's closed. Of course it is. Why did offer close? Oh, it's angry. It's big angry. It's almost done being angry. Okay, it's done being angry now. <laughs> uh... Don't break it. Oh, it'll break if I open up or no. Uh, either way. Pretty much. Ooh. Um. View rewards emotes. Holy shit! I have five open slots for animated emotes now, plus two bonus animated emotes for tier one subs. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of insane.
<laughs> That's so many emotes. Okay. Now I can mend this rift. Cool, yeah, I'll have to uh, think about what I need later. And figure out how to animate <laughs> emotes. <laughs> Ow. That's probably a couple more might stones or whatever, or might crystals, and some more experience for try, and yeah. My friends share some of their power with me. Oh, like I can't tell, but I think that's just about level eight. Two might crystals. How many is that now? Five. Cool. So let's go back to your world now. Wait, just flip over. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You know, for some reason, last night when we were finishing off in Grounded, I'd said that it was, uh... <laughs> it was only one day left till October, not realizing that it was already the next day. <laughs> and so it's still the 29th, so... <laughs> Hi. Hi, hey, and hello. Oh, Acorn Gathering, sure. Sure, yeah. I can do Acorn Gathering. Time to gather. Did you say there were 10 Acorn? No, he said 10 Rupees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven acorns. It would be a lot more difficult if I didn't have that jump accessory. You bring an auto correct? Yeah, basically. There we go, 11. That should be more than enough time. I didn't see what our time limit was, but yeah. <coughs> nice work, you got all the acorns. Hey, your time was 2044. You were amazing. All right then, it's prize time. Nice, 20 rupees. Wow, I was lightning fast, so fast. In fact, you get the special one-time bonus. A golden egg. Thank you, sir. Come back in and play some more. No, thanks. <laughs> I've played enough. Northern Sanctuary. Ah, uh, hello, Traveler. How nice of you to visit us here. We're lucky to host many travelers passing by, so I get to hear all sorts of rumors of the wide world. I've heard all sorts of rumors lately. Would you, would you like to hear any of them? Uh, we know about the Great Fairy. Gold-colored eggs. Have you heard tell the eggs that shine like gold? I've never seen them myself, as they're quite rare. Apparently you just eat them, but the true gourmet mixes one with something else. I'm also given to understand they can be sold for a handsome sum at the shops. Other tales? Dangerous monster? The quiet forest in the northwest of here? I have heard that it is home to a particularly dangerous monster, one rarely seen. If you spy any especially menacing tracks, please don't follow them. Who knows what you'll find? We're going monster hunting today. <laughs> Surviving extreme cold. I gather the best way to beat the cold is found at the business scrub smoothie shops. Supposedly, one of these drinks is enough to keep you comfortable in the cold. Okay, so yeah, we have heat drinks and cold drinks. So yeah, okay. We have some greens that has warm in the name. Anything else? No, that's it. Everything else I, I already know about, so thank you. I figured we were going to need to make uh, drinks to go up to the volcano. I pray my family stays healthy. I pray the world finds peace. And I pray that I get a thousand rupees. Maybe two thousand if you can swing it. <laughs> <coughs> Speaking of rupees, how many do I have? Oh, not enough. I need 360 more. Is to hold 
Wait, but he said... Oh, over here, probably. Okay. An explorable wall? Let me go here first. Nothing. Oh. Of course. Alright. So it's like that then, is it? Why are there vines here? It looks like I should be able to climb this, this spot. But I can't, it's too high. So this almost definitely leads me up Mount Lanero, so I'm gonna come back here later when we're ready to go up there. Winds of low down here from Hebron Mountain are always so cold. Hmm, you came all this way? Do you intend to climb Hebron Mountain? Yes. You don't say. How unusual. Hebron Mountain covers an area that's very cold. You'll get hurt if you can't wear off the chill. But if you do want to go up there, use the claws that climbs the summit. Is it claws or caves? The entrance is nearby. Unfortunately, it was blocked by a cave in recently. Okay, that is what I thought it was. Hi. Greetings, Princess Zelda. By the King's orders, I'm looking into the rift on Holy Mountain, Holy Mount Lanayru. Minister Left told me of an old legend that you can reach it by crossing the cloud, so I tried scaling Hebrew Mountain to cross over, but the cliffs were just too steep. There's a mountain pass ahead, but it's rough going. Clearly hasn't been maintained. Oh. Ah, a warp point. Ah, this looks like an entrance to the forest. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. So there's like a boss monster in here or something? Or, or a boss class monster or something? Eternal Forest. So I'm looking for some monster tracks that I'm not supposed to follow. Oh hello, you're you're spooky. I feel like you're not the one up, the one he was talking about. I don't see any tracks nearby. <coughs> and the sword moblin level three echo, a veteran moblin that has mastered using his huge sword and shield to cut down all opponents. It also requires five. Okay. Future rupees, that makes you really happy. Okay, I do have your echo already. I, I wasn't sure. I see a torch. Ow! Go away. That was rude. Oh. Hell yeah. Light him up. Kill him. Hell yeah. He's dead. Anyway, I need to light the torch. Because I wasn't able to do that yet. Is that not a torch? Ow! No, it's not a torch. I need to put something there. Apparently. It seems. It feels like that. But what do I put there? Is there like an orb or something around here? Okay, this is where we fought the sword moblin. What's this? Text is impossible to make out. This is a brand new warp. Alright, right in the middle of the eternal forest. You can now warp here using the map. 
tracks. Those are like horseshoe prints. Just an empty clearing here. Why? No clue. I don't know which way horsey tracks lead. Oh shit, it's Lionel! Well, I went the right way. Oh Jesus Christ! That's my strongest summon. Oh, but, yeah, that's my strongest summon too. And he two shots it. Okay, we're good. That makes sense though, being a terrifying monster. You learned the Lionel Echo. Six? Jesus Christ. The most fearsome monster in all of Hyrule, this brute annihilates foes with mighty swings of its sword. Yeah, that makes sense. A, a terrifying monster in the forest. Horse hooves. Okay. <coughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I have a side quest over here. Why do I have a side quest over here? Oh, right, Dante's house. Right. Maybe the smoke out of its rear end monster. Maybe that's uh on Elden Volcano. Well we did some monster hunting, that was uh interesting. Can't say I hated it, it was enjoyable. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> That's what I wanted. You got rupees? No. Monster stone. I'll take it. But I still don't know what to do with these. It's gotta be that I like put something here, right? But I don't know what I'd put here. Maybe electricity? Actually, I don't know. No. Ow, a hawk statue! No. <laughs> it pours the scariest monster, right? Hydrazol. No. I don't know. No clue.
Maybe, maybe put one of these on there. Probably not, but who knows. I didn't seem to do anything. I have no clue. I feel like I'm supposed to put something like light energy or something on there, but... I don't have any, anything that can do that. I don't think. There, a rock. Maybe I'll have to come back later. Probably. Alright, well, let's, uh... Go make some smoothies and go climb, uh, Mount, uh, Elden Volcano. Did I go on here? We had to go down here to save a, the horse, but... It's so much faster if I just use the horse. Is that a chest? That is a chest. Potatoes. Huh. That's new. I haven't seen a rock tato before. Doesn't seem it could be very fun to eat. Okay, there's a smoothie shop just down here. Hey, a stamp I don't have yet. How did I miss the stamp the whole time? <laughs> There's one more for this card. Hey there, welcome to the smoothie shop. What can I do for you? Smoothie, please. Chili cactus and monster fang. Yes. Hmm. Your smoothie. That should be like. Oh. Okay. Maybe this. Please don't give me an unfortunate smoothie. Hey, not an unfortunate smoothie. We've got a cactus smoothie. Fireproof for only one minute? You see, this is why I wanted to mix it with the monster parts. Boost wall climbing speed. What if I try to mix it with monster guts instead of the monster horn? Ah, my leg. You're a smoothie. There we go! A chili potion. Fireproof for five minutes. Cool. I want a couple more of those. Oh, I actually have a list of recipes. That's cool. <laughs> cool. 
Uh, I'm gonna make, yeah, I'm gonna make a few more. Right, yeah, I remember looking at these. Yeah, okay. Ow. Oh, I have a warming potion and a chili potion. Okay, cool. Spend 150 rupees instead. Uh, no, I... This will give me, if I make one more, that'll give me 20 minutes, uh, 21 minutes of heat proof. Yeah, okay. Okay, what is this for? Smoothie for 150 rupees. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, cool. We're we'll either using greens or just spend rupees to make it. Oh, that's cool. All right, I don't think the horse wants to go up the mountain, so let's go up the mountain. Us. Hey, ow, rude. What's up here? I need water. I probably don't need it until I like, start getting into the, the fire area of the volcano, but yeah. Ooh. Where's the boom fish? There you are. Boom fish. I don't see anything over there, so. A chest. Oh. Just some Masha fangs. Okay. Alright, that's fair. Yeah, no, there's nothing over there. I also don't see anything over here. Which is... I can almost get up there. It's very close, but not quite. Okay, so you have to actually get up there then. Normally, unfortunately, it seems. I made that jump. Cool. Give me my spin, man. Spin king. Hi, he's spin. He spins so good. Oh. There we go. There's nothing up here for me, but cool that I can get up there at least, I guess. There we go. It's safe here now. Or it's safer, I guess. Never mind, it's not safe. It'll never be safe. Potatoes, yay. Yeah, it makes sense we'd find them up here on the volcano. If there really are Gorons here, then there's no one I expect to have rock potatoes besides Gorons. Oh, sorry. Oh, I saw you guys earlier. Just the other day. Can I... I guess I just, like, actually fight you now, huh? Nice. What is this? It is a 
Torch Slug. Oh, these are the things from Ocarina. And maybe Majora's Mask. I don't remember if they're Majora's Mask or not. Slime being able to cling to walls and floors. This monster leaves a trail of flame wherever it goes. Beware. No, I didn't mean to do that. Give me back my Dark Nut. Where's the Dark Nut? There it is. Can I just... Yes, I can. Cool. I mean, I could have done it from over here too, but whatever. Uh-oh. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> you, 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 he tried. He failed, but he tried. He was like, I'm gonna not die here, and then he died. Ooh. Three mic crystals, that's eight now, I think? Yes, good. I only need 12 more, and then I can upgrade something else now. Which I'll probably do energy. Honestly. A chest. What's in here? A fairy flower. And make to make fairies occasionally appear when you cut grass or other plants. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That would actually probably be really useful. Destroy it, can I? I mean, it'd be cool if I could, but I don't think I can. No. Ow! That hurts. It's not just wind. I thought it was just wind. It's not just wind. Where is. This will work. I don't know how that works, but okay. If it works, I guess. down here a whole load of nothing that's what's down here I love getting nothing hey wait a minute I remember you from Wings Awakening I actually don't remember who you're from oh he windy hey windy oh. no no my echo oh Oh, it's right here. Cool. And the Giro Echo. This airborne pest hinders foes with its powerful breath. The gale is strong enough to shove a person around. I think I did that wrong. I think I did that wrong again. I think I see how it wants me to do it. So I'm going to try it like that. Uh, where is it? This isn't working very well. There we go, I did it! Uh, where is my Dark Knight? There he is. Kill it. Hell yeah. I 
I need water. Ow. I could just use the uh, the frog guy that summons rain, but I don't know if that, I actually don't know if that works inside. I feel like this was the way I was supposed to go. Okay, can I just summon the frog? No, it doesn't seem to work inside. Damn. Um, water. So horribly, I mean like an awful idea. No! It almost worked. It wanted to work. Until it didn't. Ah! I only have five, of course. I forgot about that. I have another idea. This idea is a little bit better. Can you stop? No! Son of a bitch. There we go. Hey, it worked. I am a genius. And the thing we got was fucking useless. That can totally take me back, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Why participate in the game's puzzles when I can just water block everything and just go wherever the hell that I want with water? Honestly, killing these guys isn't that important, really. Nice. Well, the mold arms can be on here, too. That's awful. But if the mold arms can go on there, then that means that that my mold arms can go on there. Mess him up. Cool. Ooh, hot spring. Does that heal me? Yeah, it does. Good. Cool. I see a Goron up there. Hey, that's five. Hi and hello, Stamp Guy here. I've loved stamps since I was a little lad. Now I'm Hyrule's most stamply authority. You fill up another card. As promised, here's your reward. Oh shit, another bottle. Fuck yeah. Fairies love these sturdy bottles and jump right inside. 
Look at you, three cards already. You're, you've come so far. It's inspiring. Your rally on, uh, your rally, you, your rally on like a champ really takes me back. When I did my chores, I'd get a nice stamp. Such happy memories. Stamp Mama, Stamp Papa, and good old Stampy. I hope they're all doing good. I hope they're all doing well. Oh, Stampy's our dog. What a pup. Well, enough rallying down memory lane. You're a real pro by now, so you're ready for the next step. When I start with ready, set, you finish with go stamp rally. Got it? Ready, set, go stamp rally. Wowee! Here's your next stamp card. More stamps are out there somewhere, and your next reward too. Hell yeah. You got the exhilarating stamp card. It's the stamp card chosen by Stamp Rally Professionals. You feel the stamp guy's love for stamps rating off it. I better figure out that reward. <laughs> he walks around and fights for us. <laughs> so point has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Cool. Is this a rift that I can go in over here? It is! Okay, cool. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. <laughs> Fucking stamp guy. <laughs> Poor stamp guy. He just wants to stamp. I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in five areas to be exact. If you rescue them all, we can fix this rift. Can I... Put water here or turn it into, into rock? No. That's... Kinda boring, actually. Burn him! <laughs> he fell into the lava. Um... I actually want one of those things, because apparently I can't put a... I have an idea, actually. You're like, nasty me. I was hunting you down wearing his nasty shorts. Aww. Poor stamp guy. He just loves stamps so much. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. He's worse than Chadley. Okay, well, to be fair, I haven't played Rebirth yet, so I don't know how bad Chadley is. I can't... I can't do this. <laughs> this isn't working. It didn't work. Can I just kind of... Maybe if I start from over here. Maybe if I start from over here. That's a rough maybe, though. There we go. God damn it, more? Or this one might actually need beds. Shit. No! Stop! No! No! I don't want to go up! On your fucking wind ride. Please and thank you. Stop! Oh, I can't make that. Okay. 
So far, so good. And by that, I mean I'm struggling. Oh, shit! Ah! Uh, oh, no! Oh, no! No, the echo. Really? Can I just kind of? Yes, I can. It worked, I think. Yeah, it did work. Cool. <laughs> you know, the fire is robe echo. A powerful fire magician. This creature warps across the sky, flinging blades of flame. Can I just... No, that's slightly too far. Ow. I guess I can't... Uh, I might be able to go this way. If I use a boulder, maybe. Cut, no, go down, put the boulder. Absolutely fucking banhammer. If they didn't want to get banned, they wouldn't have come in here talking about fucking cheap viewers on Hialeah Gardens Karate? What the fuck? That sounds like a username in itself. Fine, where's my pea hat? There we go. Oh, I never mind. It, we're good. It, 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 it is dead. You purchased cheap ninjas. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I believe that before I believed is where you can buy cheap viewers. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, I don't have you yet. That's a fire Octorok. That's kind of cool, actually. I can't hit you with that. Um... You got the Fire Octo Echo. This Octo Rock variety has adapted to its volcanic habitat, using its high internal temperature to spit fiery rocks. Nice. How, how many is that? Two? Okay, makes sense. I think the regular Octo Rock is only one. So I need one more Echo set then. There we go. And that's all five. We found all my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. Cool. And good. Cool. Good and cool. 
This will get us up to level 8 as well. Or at least it should. That's pretty cool. I am rather happy about that. I don't know what we get for level 8, but <coughs> that is pretty cool. My friends share some of their power with me. Fantastic. I feel like I can do even more now. Oh. No, we still can't use the Lionel yet. <laughs> Try his powers increased even more. That's cool, though. The Strangler now only costs one. Pose costs three. The Wind Guys cost one. That's pretty cool. Oh, and the Fire Octos only cost one now. And two, two Might Crystals. That's ten, I think? Yes. So let's go back to your world now. Okay. Okay. I like that idea. Time to go help the Gorons. After I finish exploring. That is. I, ooh. Got a piece of heart. Hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> Who needs to actually participate in the puzzles, right? Or the combat, or it can just water around everything. I gotta kill one of these guys so I can get their echo now. Uh, P hat. Fuck him up. Hell yeah. What are you do? What are you doing? There we go. Of course the echo is falling super slow, but that's fine. There we go. We got it. The zero echo. So zero and gyro. This troubles and flying monster spits a continuous rain of bombs from on high. Ooh. And it takes out its cost by one. That's cool. Hello, Mr. Goron. Oh, this is bad. Real bad. So, do you think it's one of the Gorons? Nah, couldn't Hi. be. A Hylian. Oh, uh, welcome to Goron City. But this is no time for hellos. A rift sprung up and a bunch of my friends fell in. And on top of that, Dar Darston fell in after. He tried to save our friends, but he got too close and the rift swallowed him up. Ah, uh, Darston. And you just became chief. Let's get to work, Zelda. What? You, you, wait, you say you can fix rifts? Then maybe you can save my friends. Hurry, follow me. Oh. Thanks so much for helping us. This is the rift that swallowed Chief Darston and our friends. Uh, where's Papa? Please do something, anything. We've already tried everything we can think of. Have you tried going around here? Oh, probably. Have you tried going around here? Goodbye. <laughs> I'm waiting here because my big brother's not back yet. I sure miss him. <sighs> okay, we'll go in here. You know, it sells red and blue potions. It's not that interesting, I guess. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. I 
I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. Trapped in four areas to be exact. If you rescue them all, we can fix this rift. Let's do that then. Fuck your bombs. What? Excuse me? There we go. Huh. I see the problem. It's making their usernames more fucking complex so it's harder to, uh, to ban them. I'm, I'm considering it because again I get these all the fucking time and it's so annoying I'm sick and tired of it there we go hold on oh it was energy okay Your mother fuck you fell. There we go. Okay, well there's one. Okay, yeah, I might just end up banning Lynx at, uh, after the stream. Unless we get another one. If we get another one, then I'm just gonna ban Lynx outright. Like, right away. No more Lynx allowed to be posted in chat. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but I'm tired of these fucking bots coming in. Good heck those links. You absolutely heck the links. The only good link is in a video game. Ah! Uh, that was close. Maybe a little too close. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll say, like, if you want to post links, ask one of the. Ask one of the mods. Fuck your bomb, idiot. <laughs> you fucking tried, asshole. <laughs> Found my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. Cool. Then fuck your links, absolutely. I mean, you could just say send your links to me, but no, fuck your links. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your links. <laughs> My friends shared some of their power with me. Nice. Two might crystals and try. Hell yeah. Let's go back to your world now. Okay. We. <laughs> Everyone's back, and the rift's nowhere in sight. Yes, yeah, she did it. She really did it. Yeah, yeah, uh, what happened? I remember there was a rift when I went to check it out. Darston, you made it back too! Yeah, 
Thrift's gone and everyone's back? How? Ask the Hylian, she's the one that saved you. You did? Thank you. Thank you so much. What's your name? Princess Zelda of, of Hyrule? R really? It's a pleasure to meet you. Wow. I'm Darston, the um recently appointed chief of the Gorons. And uh, who's your floaty friend? I'm Try. Try, huh? Nice to meet you too. Wait, what? Where's Papa? Uh, Papa's gone. Oh. Pa I, 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 I was hoping Papa would be in the rift. Huh? Wait a sec. I don't see Elder Gol or Elder Sylve either. What? Hang on. Elder Gol said he was going to stop by the quarry for some rock roast. Yeah, and Elder Sylve told me something seemed off at the Lizalfos burrow. So we went to go check. Chief, what do we do? We gotta find him. Uh, give me a second to think. Can't just randomly got anything though. Uh, better check this lady in. Chief, everything okay? Ah, yes, here we go. Um, listen everyone. I'm gonna find our friends myself, so you should all, uh, wait here. Nuggets of Wisdom, number 32. Don't stop when it's go time. He's gone. Just like that. What do you say about Nuggets of Wisdom? I is he okay? Darson sure seemed differently from the leaders of the Grudo and the Zora, huh? I wonder where he went. I'm not gonna actually explore going on city, so that's cool. Right, the shop was broken. Now the shop's not broken. And there's no accessories for sale here, that's boring. That's fine. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay, I can't lift that off, huh? No. Probably not, it seems. Hi, I'm the firework artist, fireworks artist, Bossa. What in the world are we living in, huh? Oh, what a world we're living in, huh? Half the city got swallowed up by a rift. We got friends we're still missing. It's no time to make fireworks, I tell you what. I, if we're gonna be stuck with the ridiculous makeup that I'm not a huge fan of, then we're gonna go with this get up, I guess. I don't I like the other one though. It's got the cool hood. I kinda wish we could oh. Put the hood down. Whew. Okay, no, I'm too tired. I'm bringing on a, the last monster. <sighs> I almost, I almost decided not to stream today. I was like, wait, what the fuck am I thinking? No, I, I, I want to play Zelda. <laughs> I got a fucking stream. Hmm, it's time to go, but where do I go? I gotta find everyone who's missing, but how? Maybe I should consult this lady again. Think, think, think. Oh, uh, hi again. Darson, what's on your slate there? Oh, it's the Goron Chief's 56 Nuggets of Wisdom. They have 56 mottos my father left for me. I kind of rely on them. 56 mottos? It's all his advice about how a Goron chief should lead. Without it, I couldn't even sleep at night. Anything else you'd like to know about my slate? It's from your father? Yeah, my father was a previous chief. He... Ugh. He's not here anymore. No, that's it. Even with Dad's instructions, I'm still... me. I know I should act more confident now that I'm chief. Darston? We've been going around mending the rifts. We're looking for a big one nearby. Do you know where it might be? The biggest rift is at the crater, but you can't get close because of all the poison gas on the way. Wait, I heard there's a shortcut to the crater somewhere. A shortcut? That's promising. 
I don't know the details, but Elders Go Gull and Silv might. Oh. Hmm. Problem is, they're both missing. Oh, what should we do? Ugh. Hang on a sec. Could you two maybe help me look for everyone who's still missing? I know I'm chief, but I don't think I can do this by myself. There's a lot of ground to cover. Hi. Elders were supposedly headed to the Rock Rose Quarry in the northwest and the Lizafos Burrow in the north. Quarry? The Rock Rose Quarry is northeast of here. You'll see a cave entrance up at the mountain. That's where we mine the best cuts of the famous Goron delicacy, Rock Rose. Hi. The elders were supposedly headed. Okay. And Burrow? The entrance to Lizafos Burrow sits on the northern lava lake. It leads to a spooky cave in the, in the volcano where the monsters called Lizafos live. Hi. Got it. Okay, let's do this. Um, where should we start? Maybe Nugget of Wisdom at number 8? No, not 52 either. Um, hmm. Psst, Zelda. He's doing the thing again. Maybe we should help first and let him think. <laughs> what is... Oh, the bombs, okay. Fuck your bomb. <laughs> Absolutely not. Rockrose Quarry, it's covered by monsters. Oh, was that a rock that can survive in the lava? From the lava rock echo. Ellen Volcano is home to many rocks like this one. It is heat resistant and won't crumble, even in lava. I'm kind of surprised we're not burning up here. I thought we'd need it. Tired, hungry. Ah, phew, I caught up. Huh? What's going on here? Darson, is that you? Yes, Elder Gull. I'm glad to see you're here after all. Oh, I was here, all right. I was about to snack on some rock roast deep in the quarry when, whoosh, the rift opened. We got out of there as fast as we could. But now we're too tuckered to move. I didn't get any roast. I'm starving. A rift in the quarry? So it's not safe here either. Oh no, what if it starts spreading? Would we be able to escape in time? Hmm. If they're too tired and the rift, rock roast. Dangerous, but. Hmm. Well, whatever else happens, these folks need some rock roast. Let's see, the path is. This way. What the ha Ah! That's fucking rude. Why would you exist like that? <laughs> oh, I didn't kill him, huh? The Tweel- <laughs> The Tweelus! It's called the Tweelus! The Tweelus Echo. This fire isn't rock monsters, hard exterior is still vulnerable to impact. It has a weakness for rock roast. You don't say. His friend died and he was like, fuck it, there's no reason to live anymore and threw himself into the goddamn lava. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, Zelda. This is rock roast, one of our favorite foods. Let's put some rock in the walk of any Goron. So you gotta deliver some to Elder Goal and the others. They'll all be better after this. Nuggets of Wisdom number 11. Choose stuff before you do stuff. The freshest rock was the best, but which one to pick? They all look the same to me. So maybe you can carry maybe you can help him carry some of the rock roast. You let the rock roast echo. Considered a Goron delicacy, this meal is beyond the chewing power of the average Hylian.
Link ate some. In Age of Calamity, Link ate some. He just took it and took a big fucking bite out of the rock roast. He looked like he was shattering his teeth, but he fucking ate it. <laughs> I guess it's average Hylian, so... Maybe Link's just like an expert chewer. <laughs> He's really good at chewing his food. <laughs> his teeth are made of like fucking diamonds or some shit. Is this like a, a, a no walk platform? Yeah, it's a no walk platform. Can't go that way. Oh wait, wait, I need to see something. Can I use this? Yes, I can, cool. Can I just... No. They aren't affected. Not where I meant to put him. Absolutely pathetic. I'm so disappointed. Oh, I can only have one at a time. Okay, that's fair. Nice. I want rock roast now, which is just for carrot. <laughs> that sucking aroma! You brought me a rock roast. Oh, thank you. Mmm, -mm, tasty, but I'm still hungry. Oh well, it was delicious. So my body probably just hasn't hasn't noticed I'm full. I hope you'll bring some of the others too. Just three times. Ugh. I know that smell. You brought me a rock roast? Hang on, this isn't rock roast, kind of smells like it, but you can't fool me. I need the real thing. Uh, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. I only have six seconds left to fireproof, it's fine. I can go the long way. Fine, here's your goddamn rock roast. Left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. Nuggles was number two. Get, get your hands moving, your head will follow. Zelda, how'd you carry that over here so fast? I smell. Rock roast? It's rock roast, thank you. <laughs> Whew, that was delish. I'm raring to go now. Thanks a ton. Ugh. Now that you're feeling better, Elder Gold, can I ask you for a quick question? We need to find the shortcut leads to the crater. What was that? Oh, the shortcut now. Let me think. Hmm. You know? I can't remember for the life of me. Oh, I see. Anyways, thanks for coming to our rescue. You know, I wasn't too sure about the leadership shakeup, but you're doing great. And still might know a thing or two about that shortcut, you should ask him. See you around. There they go. I really hoped he'd know, but things don't always turn out the way you like. Hmm. You okay, Darston? Yeah, I appreciate Elder Gold's kind words, but I don't know if I agree with him. What do you mean? My father was great at this, but since I've been chief, it's been nothing but chaos. I'm a worrywart, and I've only ever been good at studying. I'd be useless without my slate. 
I'll never be a great chief like my father. Sorry for making you listen to all this. We still need to check the Lee's office borough for Elder Silve. What would Dad have done in this situation? Maybe we should look at that slate again. Darston's fretting again. See you later, Darston. I'm gonna go find... Silve. This way, probably, I guess. Ooh, chest. Ooh, stamp. Oh, shit, nice. Yes, please. Really, invisible wall. Two, but still. That is two, right? Yeah. Oh, I should have just used that warp. Would have been a little bit faster, but whatever. Too late now. safe. Oh, it's the forest. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess we're gonna just warp back up here. It's fine. We're good. Let's, uh, go up here now. Ow, I can't stand on top of him. That's good to know, I guess. Well, I mean, I can stand on top of him. I just, they hit me. Danger, lava lake ahead. Oh, thanks. I would never have known. I think I saw, ooh. I think I saw the burrow, but... Fuck him up. Nice. Cool, another golden egg. I'll take it. And a fire wizard rope, that's a shame.
I'm stuck. There's a bigger gap there than I think there is. Where's the lava rock? I really like that I can pick up the rocks, uh, the bombs, and throw them back. It's really cool. Where was that heart piece again? It was in that lava lake, I think. Cool. Now I can warp back here whenever we need to. Yeah, it's there. Ow! What hit me? Oh, you're fire rock. Hey, it's Rachel. How's it going? Water. Water, 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 water. Water! Hey, it's a wheezy. Ah! Bomb! Bomb! How's it going? Keep on here. Think the subs? Yeah, that was. Those are my mods who did that. Doing awesome? That's glad to hear. Good in yourself? I'm not too bad playing some Zelda. That's always an enjoyable experience. Except when I'm having bombs rain down on me. That's That might work. Hell yeah, it works. I need one more now. I can just warp to here. And not have to suffer at all anymore, thankfully. Well, not to suffer out here. Now I can suffer inside. There's a rift here, apparently. Gorons? So, I'm sorry, I got lost in my head again. What's going on? What happened to them? <laughs> hey, there's one of said mods. <laughs> What's that? Darston, is that you? Elder Sylph, what are you doing here? We've been so worried. I heard there were these new Dark Lee's Elfos about, so we came to have a look. We are going to get rid of them, but they were real tough cookies. We had to retreat. So we are waiting on our best defensive position in case they attack. Maybe you should have just headed back? Though I've never heard of Dark Lee's Elfos before. A new species or a sudden evolution? But what would have caused it? Hmm. I wouldn't feel safe if we got rid of, those new, of these new Lee's Elfos, but I'm no hunter. Maybe there's a nugget of wisdom for this. Um, hmm. There he goes again. The unknown dark creatures. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Zelda? I'm thinking it's time for the King of Spin to come in again. Hell yeah, get him. Mess him up. Ooh, rock potatoes. Spin. Oh, these are the level 2 Lizals I don't have yet. Nice. Because I got level 3 as the first Lizal foes, and then I got level 1, now I have level 2. Nimble and lizard-like, this creature is resistant to fire and able to leap into close combat from great distances. I actually don't know what the uh, level 3 leaves off foes are like. Princess Zelda! Whew, I caught up. You took Caramel already? That was so fast. I got a strange feeling there's more up ahead. It might be dangerous, but I can't keep relying on other people's help. Well, you've done so much. Let me go first from here on in. Nuggets of Wisdom number 26. You can't lead from the back. True. Nice. Fire keys. Wait, where'd he go? Why is he not fighting these guys? Oh, right. I wanted to summon in the level 3 Lizzo. I'll see how that goes. Yeah. 
Yeah, mess him up. Yeah. He's not bad. Andrews isn't the fire too, so he's he's safe to use around here. This flying monster burns hot enough to ignite anything it touches, but will <laughs> will be destroyed by a stiff wind. <laughs> Oh, here's the Dark Lizal. This is how to look. Those be the Dark Lizal folks that Elder Sil saw. They haven't noticed us. Can we sneak attack them somehow? It's probably safer than attacking them head on. Maybe the Slate has some advice for advice for this. Um, Nuggets of Wisdom number eight. Don't look down. Look up. Look up. Whoa! There's some boulders in the ceiling. Look about ready to fall. Wait, I just got an idea. Based on the cave structure, my weight and speed. If I just okay, I got this. Nice, took up two of them. Yes, just like I calculated. I got some of them, but there's still a few more to deal with. Are there are any more rocks we can use in the ceiling? Is there something else we can do? As the wise like to say brute force and ignorance ow <laughs> whoa yes that's awesome you're amazing Zelda let's go tell Elder Sylv really impressive that you two handle those leaves off those gotta admit I don't want to be the one to do it, but I suppose we can all go home at least. Ugh. Wait, Elder Self, before you go, can I ask you something? Do you know about the shortcut that leads to the crater? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, the shortcut. Now where was it? Hmm, can't recall a thing. I'm afraid. Ugh. I see. Well, thank you anyway. <laughs> I want to say, Darston, I'm real impressed with how you're doing so far. I had some concerns about how you'd take to being chief, but you're proving me wrong. Oh, and Gold might remember that crater shortcut you're after. Anyhow, if you'll excuse us. Oh. Then you left? Just like that? Uh. I really thought you'd know. Maybe not cut out for this like Dad was. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I... My father was strong, dependable. Everybody respected him. But Darston, you helped defeat those monsters. Uh. Only because I had my dad slate. I can make calculations, but I don't have the skills to really un unite people like he could. I told him I could do this, but I was I'm scared I was lying to us both. But I don't want to give up. I'm not going to be that kind of chief my f I'm not going to be the kind of chief my father was, and that's okay because I'm not him, I'm me. And I will do everything I can to help everybody. After everything that's happened, it's okay to do things my way as chief. No, let's head back to Gorn City and speak with the elders again. I've got a hunch talking with Gol or Sylv might jog their memories. Talking more with Gol or Sylv. Seems like he's doing better. A little, I guess. You are correct, Try. He does seem like he's doing a little better. Jump. Splat. We just die right there. Oh, it's this way. Ow! That was rude. Their bombs are annoying. There we go. Huh? So you don't know what the shortcut is either? Nope, not a clue. I really thought you would have remembered. Now what? If I don't remember, I don't remember. What else do you want me to say? Elder Gull, Elder Sylv, there's something else I'd like to ask you both. What exactly is the shortcut to the crater? Ah. It's a path used by the Goron chiefs back in the day. Only after going through its trials and cleansing in the crater could a Goron become chief. That custom faded long before our time, though. Hmm. Purify themselves in the crater to take on the title of chief. Hmm. Sorkar is related to the chiefs, but that's me now. Or, isn't it? Or, Dad? Hmm. Oh, Darson, your father, that's it, I remember now. Your father your father once said something about blocking off the path in my room. 
Hmm, come to think of it, I reckon I heard him say something like that too. First I've heard of it, let's go check it out. <laughs> it's up here, this way! Darson, he's something over a portrait, and he's gone. Wow, this room is such a mess. Someone must have tied it up for me. See that behind me? It's a portrait of my dad. Doesn't he look impressive? Dad made me promise I'd change this portrait one day. You'll have to hang, hang one of yourself when you're chief. So proud. So sure I'd grow up like him. I've let this up, but I did promise, so I have to do it eventually. Never mind that. For now, we gotta find the entrance to that shortcut. Well, it's cracked, so, uh, sorry, bud. I'm gonna blow up your dad. I didn't have to do anything. Oops. You know, this is just like one of my dad's mottos. Nuggets of Wisdom number 34. A breakdown can lead to a breakthrough. Whoa. More important, I think you found that shortcut. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> Looks like a path picks up just over there. Look at the path picks up over there. Now he's got to figure out how to get across. Uh. The best thing for a time like this is, uh... Nuggets of Wisdom number 19. If you can't fly, borrow some wings. Mm -hmm. Never knew what Dad meant by that one. How do you borrow someone's wings? Oh. I think I might know. I've never actually done this before. But I've heard that it's possible. We. If I did this before with the wind, that would have been so much easier. Zelda! That was amazing! You're brilliant! I don't think I can use that trick, but I'll find a way to catch up with you. Go ahead without me. If I was smart enough to think of that when we had the wind guys before... we. It's over here, if anything. Nothing over here, okay. That's cool. I don't need Twilus. It's not over there, it's, over, it's up here. In. Wait, there was something over there. What was that over there? A treasure chest. Ooh. Ah. That hurt. Quite a lot, honestly. Wouldn't recommend. Zero to ten. I guess I can water my way over there. That's honest. Oh. Sh yeah, no, I can do it. It's fine. It's fine. That costs four, and this is up against the wall, so. Yeah, cool. Spin. Oh, just a monster stone. Okay. That's fine. 
Not really that useful, but still. That's fine. I, I still really wish... Fine, I guess that works. That we could favorite the echoes. That'd be really nice. That's like the one thing this game is missing, is being able to favorite the echoes. It's too high! There we go. Ah, it's not gonna... Yeah, I, uh, I realized my mistake as soon as I made it. I have a horrible idea. Hey, it worked! Nice! That didn't work at all. Too high! How, um... I guess I can throw it? Fuck. And then... Or I can... No. There we go. Okay, how do I get over there now? I can just make that jump, huh? Cool. Uh, bed. There we go. Now I can uh, open my inventory to do this a little faster and easier. Really? All this for a treasure chest? This wasn't even the right way? What? Oh, unless I have to climb this thing. That'd make a little bit of sense. And we... Ah, here we go. Yeah, okay. Hey, Zelda! Oh, you made it. Ooh, I finally managed to catch up. Uh-oh, there's a giant rock in the way. Path hasn't been used for in a while. It's probably fell at some point. Hmm, need this to me. Based on the size and type of stone, the angle I need to use is... Okay. Take this. That was one hell of a punch. It didn't work as well as I'd hoped, but the results still fit my calculations. We haven't known each other long, but this is like, it's like a map from my father. So the idea of not having it around anymore makes me pretty nervous. But with all we've done, I realize there's times when carvings and rock aren't enough. I think you've helped me figure things out. The words aren't valuable, but I can't be a great chief while I'm staring at a slate. Be a great chief, I have to keep my eyes up to see what works best for me. So let's try something different. Goron Chief's Nugget of Wisdom number 56. Get creative with what you've got. Here's Slate. Wasn't it really important to you? Yeah, but I'll be alright. I can still use the nuggets of wisdom my father left to, to help me do things my way. 
the Darston way. Besides, I've got all my father's models memorized by now. Sorry to keep you waiting on my big insight. The crater's just up ahead. It seems Darston really made a breakthrough. It's nice to see him more confident. Ooh, lava. Ooh, a warp and cool. That's definitely gonna be another uh, rift down there, right? In the burrow. Almost definitely. So this is what you were searching for, huh? My last few missing gorns must be in there. How can I help? This is like a central whiff in the area. All the little ones nearby are likely spreading from here. So if your if your friends were spoiled by any of them, they should return after you mend this one. But Darson, only the two of us can go inside. You've helped so much already. Please wait here. Oh, all right. I wish I could do more, but Princess Zelda, try. I know you can do this. I'll open the rift entrance now. Stand back, Zelda. Ow, my fingies! Right, I need to actually enter. I can't just jump into it. That's honestly not too surprising that, that happened. Okay, I need uh, water. Water. You are going to cause me problems. That's not what I wanted. It might work though. Oh. Mm. Ow, my eye. He's still not dead, huh? There we go. Cool. Oh, I accidentally switched to last to learn. That works. Ow, my eye. <laughs> whoops. I mean, it worked, but whoops. Ah, some more rocktatoes. Can I stand on this, or does that kill me? It's still lava. That... Yeah, I guess that makes sense, huh? That's not too surprising, I guess. Okay, I can make that jump. Cool, I wasn't sure if I could, but I can. Oh, the fifth one went on. It is on here. Okay, gotcha. Nice. There's a warp here. There's a recording. Now warp here using the map. Cool. a little close. Oh, it's bat time. Uh, where's the bat? Oh, it's still set to last land. Whoops. There, I'm most used. Good. And now I can grab myself a keys, which is 
Okay. We. Okay, that's just bomb. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Keys. Oh, I need another one. Let's go. Oh, that was the wrong button. I tried jumping with the keys. This must be the fire temple or whatever it's going to be called. Maybe it's just the Elden Crater or something. I'm close to my friends. I can sense it. No turning back now. Elden Temple. Okay, that's fair. Oh, only three floors. Okay. Alright, I'll take it. Go through here first, I guess. Yeah, it's like really frustrating that I can't favorite echoes. What we got? We got a key. Very nice. Okay, cool. Very nice. Okay, as much as I want to use that key right now, I want to see what's through here. A bunch of bombable rocks, huh? Wait, they only cost... Oh, wait, I only have five, right? I don't have six yet. Did I just hit him by throwing his own rock back... Oh, by throwing his own bomb back at him? Huh. I mean, cool, but weird. But cool. Oh, I hate that so much. Ah. Oh, I, I can move them. I'm stupid. I didn't even think about moving these ones. Oh, I can hit him with that. Cool. Okay. 
I think I could just kind of maybe Well, it worked, but it doesn't really do much for me. Because I still don't really have a way to open the door. Oh, I might know, actually. figured it out. Mm. I'm astonished that works as well as it did. Maybe if I... Shoot. There we go, that worked. <laughs> Again, water just kind of breaks everything. Oh. Poor guy. I actually kind of want to go down there. do anything over there because ow I don't have uh, the button pressed it's probably over here honestly oh I see can I just I absolutely can just do that nah it didn't work oh that's fine it worked out in the end. Nice. What's this? A key. Cool. I don't know if I've seen a new locked door yet, but good to know at least. I need to heal. <laughs> the perfect place to sleep. There will never be a better sleeping spot than this. In the middle of a goddamn volcano. <coughs> Ugh. Yuck, sorry.
Nice. Oh, fuck you, bat. Oh, nice, it drowned. Cool. That worked. Oh, a locked door. I'm glad I went down first instead of up. Alright, what next? Huh, I see. Uh-oh, it's Link again. That's... Oh, we get bombs here. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, Link, how's it going? <laughs> What's up? I'm... Oh, he's leaving. Fuck you. Oh, he big angry now. Yeah, that was a bomb chew. That's cheating. Nice. I beat him up with his own, with his own sword. Yeah, this jumping accessory is kind of a little too powerful. <laughs> I mean, all it does is double my jump height, but <laughs> it feels like it's more unfair than it should be. Got the bombs of might. Now you can press. Oh, I'm pressing A when the sword fighter from. Okay, I was wondering if we we're gonna get bombs. Okay, they don't turn into bomb shoes. So that's unfortunate. But okay, good to know. That's still pretty cool. Good to know, good to know. Two. That's the wrong button. Three. Four. Okay. All right. Uh, that's night bot, right? This is enabled though.
Um, Maybe on Streamlabs? that might work now all right so now links should be immediately timed out for assuming everything works as I expect yeah It's nice, but I don't like having to use energy to do it, so I'm probably just gonna stick with Bomb Fist for now. Really? I was afraid it was going to uh, fall or something. in here though. Ah! Nice. Ooh, 100! Yes, please. That's almost enough to, uh, to get the last great fairy thing. Oh, are you the mini boss? Um...
Damn. Um. did but okay oh that, that's gonna be a key actually that's gonna be a key because it was a locked door in the uh yeah and then because like, this game doesn't have dungeon items so but, yeah Water in the bats. Ah, uh, there's two. I don't know which one we go for. This lower one, probably. Oh, I still have one more. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. I do have two. I didn't realize I had two. Oh, I think I see. Okay. No, I don't. Ah! I see, okay. There we go, cool. Oh! Hold on, I get it. I get it, I don't like it, but I get it. I understand what's going to happen here. The lava's gonna start raising. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's not nice. Why would you do that? Um. Ah, uh, no. Try this again. I didn't kill the uh, mini mold on this time, so hopefully it doesn't screw me over. Maybe I can do this this time. I don't know. Didn't let me do it last time, but it'd be cool if I let me do it this time. It worked. <laughs> That's not how I was supposed to do it, but it worked. Alright, let's go see the boss now. This is a really short temple. Like, really, really short.
Uh, I didn't get that gust. That's fine. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, he's fine. He didn't do it. No, he did it! No! <laughs> Poor keys. Oh, wait, wait, what's in here? If anything. Yet. Okay. Cool. Uh, one or two? That's two. Cool. There we go. Alright. I don't know what we're up against. We might need the stones, but just in case we don't. I'm gonna go big guy. Uh, you know, it might actually be a better idea to go Lee's all level 3, because Lee's level 3 is resistant to fire. Oh. <laughs> Saving just for the boss fight. What? Volvagia? Holy shit, it's actually Volvagia! Holy shit! <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to actually be Volvagia. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> Immediately jumped into the into the uh. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I want uh. Dark level three. Going for her head. It was the last boss I expected to fight. I can't get to you from there. I have Spear Mob in level 3, don't I? I have Spear Mob in level 2. I can only have one at a time, huh? Ow. Got a tiny bit of energy back from that, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Tiny bit more energy here. Yes, please. Hmm. Where is she going? Now I want the Lizal. And then I want to drink a heat proof potion. Shit, I'm about to jump first. Whoops. Can you even here? No. Ow. 
Ow, rude. Damn. No, I want to shoot my own! I'm uh, out of energy now. <laughs> that kind of works. A little bit, kind of. She moves way too fast, though. Where's she going? Oh, there, okay. Ah, I fell in the lava. Whoops. Oh, there we go. We did it! Yeah! Fuck you, dragon! That's a lot of them. Holy shit. There we go. That's Elden Volcano's rift. Or main rift fixed. My friends share some of their power with me. That's level 9. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck you. We can summon Lionels now. I feel like I can do even more now. Try again another triangle. Use Y to create even more echoes. Five mic crystals from Try. That's 20 now? Or 19? It's close to 20. Oh, right. The, uh, you speak to the goddess now. Priestess, your power has freed this land, which is swallowed by nothingness. I am the goddess Din, one of the three who created your world. You have demonstrated true power, thus I grant my sanction unto you. I think I know what these are for. Priestess, I will tell you of the one who has torn this land asunder with the rifts. Okay. Before the creation of the skies and the lands, there was a void, a vast nothingness. In the void, some things would begin to take form, or begin taking form, only to be devoured by the one who dwelt there. The name of this one is Null. Null, huh? Null desired the world in its entirety and consumed all life indiscriminately. We three goddesses could not abide this and created the skies and the lands to contain Null. All the while, Null continued creating rifts, working ceaselessly to return the world to a void. And so, we brought forth the tries to dissipate the rifts, thus keeping the balance. Whoa. 
One sanction remains. Remember this, your power will one day be your salvation. No. Our enemy has a name now. This is the one who has been making all the rifts. And the goddess has created my friends and me in order to oppose No. Hmm. There's not really anything else to do in the Silver World for now, so let's get back to your world, Zelda. That is, what, 14 hearts? Hell yeah, 14 hearts. Assuming there is only one more dungeon left, there's still 20... 18 heart pieces left. Because we're at two right now, right? Or three, so there's 17 left. No. Yes. Do you want to return to your world now? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Zelda, you're incredible! The giant rift, it's gone! Hopefully everyone is back now too, let's go. <laughs> so I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> wow, it's the first time I've been the guy tossed in the air. I'm just so glad that everyone's back. Zelda, try. Before I met you, I actually regretted becoming chief. It felt like a mistake. But I don't think it was. I'm just finding my own way of doing things. I know I have to go mend more rifts soon, but I'm going to keep leading my people here. Thank you so much for all of your help. Oh. Darsten, come over here, will ya? <laughs> Sounds like I'm needed. Oh. Coming! Oh. Come back to Gorn City whenever you like. You're always welcome here. Darsten changed a lot from when we met him. He said... Had so much trouble deciding him before. Now he's confident with his and his friends. Now he's confident and his friends are smiling. I miss the rest of that shit. I'm glad we mended the Elden Volcano Rift and we received a sanction from the goddess Din. This just leaves the holy mountain Lanaru Rift. Only one left. Let's get going, Zelda. I do want this actually. Oh no, the rift there is gone. Okay. I assumed that was going to be another rift we have to close, but no. Okay. We get to look around a bit more now. Maybe there's a new heart piece that spawns or something. And there's quests. Oh. oh, hi there, Zelda. Thanks again for saving me. I'm kind of miserable for a Goron. Oh, missable! I'm kind of missable for a Goron. A lot of times people don't notice me at all. If you hadn't shown up, I might have been stuck in that rift forever. Just thinking about it gives me the shivers. Maybe I should go on a nice long run to warm back up, you know? You try to go on a race while you're here. A traditional sport. Goron race? That's right, the real popular and the fans get pretty wild. The rules are, are simple. Whoever gets the flag first is the winner. You wanna try Goron race? Uh, sure. Ready, set, Goron! <laughs> I like that. That's kind of funny. Do I get my horse at least? Let's see which one of us can get to that flag first. How fast are you? Ah! Oh, kinda fast. Jesus Christ, you're so fast! He can go through the lava too! No. This is probably gonna not work, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, um... Too bad I can't just make a wind spout that goes... I don't 
know if I can use this guy to go up. <laughs> Would you look at that? I won. Well, Zelda, what do you say? Want to try again? You're on. He's like not as fast as I thought he'd be, but like that doesn't work like I thought it would. Uh oh. Yeah, there's no way. Actually, it was. Closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> another one, another one. God. There we go. <laughs> that was really close. Oh, I lost. Racing was my one way to stand out in the crowd. And this track's where I practice the most. Dang it. The world's so big, I guess there's always gonna be someone out someone better out there. But I lost fair and score. I want you to have this, Zelda. Hey, fifty rupees, cool. And the race is free too, so that's nice. I'm gonna practice running some more before I race you again. I, I'll prove I can win. But he promised. My brother said he'd go to go to the glider ride with. He'd do the glider ride with me, but now he won't play at all. So I'm gonna master the glider ride on my own. That'll show him. But it's hard. I want to find someone to show me how. A glider ride? It's a game. You try to glide super far while holding onto a flying monster. The trick is using the updrafts to glide farther. But it's hard. I'll show you. Yay, thank you, miss. Come on, let's go, come on. Okay. Gliding's not too bad. Hmm. I just need to get to a goal. Okay, cool. Gotta glide without touching the ground around all the way from here to the flag. If you touch the ground, you gotta start over. Ready? Go. Okay, I actually need to grab a glider first. Why is that not working? He's like, whoa, a monster, what? Why is there a monster? You dumbass. <laughs> I thought I missed that updraft for a sec. Whoa. Wow, you were great. You glided smooth and strong, just like my brother does. Let me give you a snack as a thank you. Nice, I got some rock salt. Ten rock salt, nice. <laughs> Watching you is giving me a bunch of pointers. Thanks a bunch. Now I'm just going to master my moves before the next time my big bro wants to play. Yeah. Miss, hey, miss. I told my brother this isn't about you and he wants to meet you. Wait right here, let me go get him. Oh. 
Oh, so you're the one Seko told me about. I am his older brother, Dissian. Thanks for demonstrating for him earlier. He was telling me about how he met a Hylian gal who was practically a pro at gliding. I have been glider riding for about three years myself. They can glide better than me. I spent a whole year making my own course. Think you can take? You think you can glide the Elden Death Road of pain? <laughs> Let's do it! All right, a new contestant, the Elden Death Road of pain. That is a fantastic name for a track. The Death Road of pain. Why am I so low on the camera? There we go. Glide path. I, I'm so glad. It's, um, no, I'm so upset. It's not just called. The Death Road of Pain. Can I get over there, huh? Oh. You gotta glide all the way from here to the flag without touching the ground, or else you have to start over. Ready? Go. Oh, well, yeah, I can see how this could be rough. Oh, I thought it was over there. Easy. You you glided the entire Elden Death Road of Pain? But I spent a whole year making it. You're incredible, out of this world. I mean, I never expected such a talent to just show up on the scene. The world moves fast. I always gotta move a little faster. But I'll give you this for conquering the Elden Death Road. <laughs> Stop saying that. Hey, nice. Two my crystals. Hell yeah. Now, as a veteran of the sport, I gotta warn you, glider rides can be real dangerous. But if you're a thrill seeker like me, you're welcome to come use the course anytime. So how many is that now? It's got to be near 20 now, right? Or over 20? It's not going to say. It's not going to say. 22. Ooh, I can upgrade my energy bar again. Hell yeah. Boing. <laughs> ah, nice. I don't want your bomb. Get that shit out of here. It's kind of really disappointing that we got this new bomb ability, but we like don't need to use it because like we just have bombs already. What am I gonna do? My bad sense direction is really messed up today. Where am I going? What? Zelda, what are you doing all the way up here? Uh, my name's Andis, I'm in a real pickle. So there's this rock called coal, right? We get it from the magma near the top of the volcano. And I'm supposed to carry some down to Gorn City. It's a Gorn ritual that brings prosperity to the whole region. Don't know if it actually does anything, though. Anyways, it's my turn to carry the coal. Problem is, my sense of direction is so crummy, I just get. I get lost just walking up Elden Volcano. Normally, I do this kind of thing with friends, but today I came solo and can't find my way back. If only I can get that coal back to Gorn City. Leave it to me. You will do it? Really? Are you sure? I'd really appreciate it. Right, right here, I'll grab the coal. Ah, here it is, coal, ready for transport. Right now, the coal's burning. We need it to stay burning, otherwise it'll fall apart. Looks like it's dying out. Move to close to some lava or flame. That's it. Just get me. Just get some burning coal to to li, limmy limb at the entrance of Goron City. If the coal burns out completely, let me know and I'll snag you a new piece. Ow. Ow. 
I'm assuming I probably can't just... Ow. Uh... I was told that would work. Hey, it's gone. Need a piece of coal? Piece of cake. I mean, coal. Coal's real hot right now, but over time it'll cool and start to crumble. Looks like it's dying up. Just move it close to something that's burning. Uh, if I drink one of these. It knocks me back, but I can walk to the fire now. I can walk to the fire. Cool. So I'm just bringing this thing back to Goron City over here, yeah? I may have gone the worst possible way to try and bring it back. Hi. I'm seeing people swallowed by rifts in a stylish green tunic. There's a lot of brave people in this world, including you, of course, Zelda. I want the coal! Give me the coal! It just went out. God damn it. <laughs> it literally just went out as soon as I as soon as I started seeing started talking to him. <coughs> Ow. Sorry about that chat. So I still get the knockback, but yeah. Hey. You need a new piece of coal? Wow, you're real bad at this, Zelda. <laughs> you fucking suck, Zelda. Yeah. If I go this way instead, it should be super easy. I hope. Rude. You weren't honest on your way here? I was bringing some coal, but the guy gets lost a lot. Oh, he's not lost up there somewhere. Huh? What's with the coal, Zelda? Uh. Let me get this straight. Honest got lost and asked you to bring that to me? Uh. Surprised Honest he manages to even make it up there. He always gets so turned around. It's still nice he wanted to deliver the coal, but I'm not comfortable with him, with him asking non Gorn to carry something that dangerous. I'm sure Chief Tarson will have thoughts on this, as will the elders. Still, I appreciate you helping helping out Andes when he needed it. Please take us as a thank you. Nice. Some more mite crystals. Hmm. But who knows? How in our recent savior carry the coal might bring even more prosperity. Yeah. And don't worry about Andes, we'll send him we'll send someone to go get him. Thanks as always for your help, Zelda. Incredible. Any more side quests around here? Been to yet? What? Oh, this must have been a a rift. To the, uh, not a rift. Uh, it must have been part of the rift. Yep. 
I'm disappointed the rift is so, or the cave was so empty though. Ooh, stamp! Yes, please. Nice, some more. Ow, rude. That's the Rock Rose Quarry. There's not going to be anything useful in there, I don't think. If there is, there isn't any more. Can I swim? No. Even with Fireproof, I can't swim in lava. Lava's unswimmable. Could you actually fuck off? Man, I still need just over a hundred more before I can get the last great fairy upgrade. I guess that's. Oh, I wonder where the leads off those barrel, right? There was a big uh, rift in there. And I went to the burrow, but now I want to go in the burrow. Disappointing, but all right, whatever. I guess it's everything here. If I had to guess, we take the third thing from the goddess and we bring it to the forest, I think. Maybe that'd be pretty cool, honestly. Okay. Do I want to head to the forest? No, I want to head over here first. Not the forest, the mountain. I want to, but I don't want to head to the mountain yet. I want to go over here first. If I get one more heart piece, then that would put me to 15 hearts. And then I get a heart container from the next dungeon. And then that leaves me with... Uh... Four hearts left to get, of course. I'm, I don't know why I had to think about that. These means four hearts left to get. So 16 heart pieces left. Oh, this is. That's what we hadn't been to yet. Oh, I was kind of hoping there'd be a heart piece here. It doesn't seem like there is, unfortunately. Okay, now I can summon in three P-Hats, and that's cool. Three P-Hats is really cool. Or, I could summon in a single Lionel. Nice. Fantastic. Oh, it has a spin attack? That's so cool. You did good. I'm proud of you. You're very insanely useful. I mean, that thing, it fucking two-shot my strongest summon beforehand, so... Yeah. It was actually like that can hit the, uh... The level three, um... Dark Nut, which is astonishing. Yeah, I was really hoping there would be a, uh, a heart piece up here, but I guess not. 
That really is such a shame. Oh! There's a rift here. I knew that. <laughs> I had seen it before, I just forgot about it. I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in three areas to be exact. If we rescue them all, we can fix this rift. I guess I must press B2 too late then. There's nothing up top, unfortunately. Oh, okay. down there nice oh I need to kill stuff underwater I can do that where's my there he is chomp in kill him mess him up yeah okay there's one that's it huh okay Out in the end. Uh, that didn't work. If you're gonna kill something, you should probably attack it. I can summon two? I can have two at a time, that's pretty cool. Alright, there's two. Now I just gotta find the third one. Oh, I'm still in the two. Oh, of course. I never left this 2D area. Not what I wanted. last one. There we go, three. <sighs> cool. Yes, let's mend the rift. 
I wonder if there'll be anything useful where the rift was. We did not save that many. There were nine that we saved. Now there's like 15 here. I think it was exactly 15. I'm not 100% sure. My friends share some of their power with me. They're about just under halfway to level 10. That's cool. Two Mike Crystals from Try. We have 30 now, nice. We have enough for an upgrade and then enough for half an upgrade. That's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, no, nope, nothing here, it looks like. Maybe. Maybe over here? Oh, no. No, okay. Alright, there's not really any other risks to deal with right now, so... We're gonna head down here. Go upgrade our energy meter. And then we're going to go see Dampe, and then we're going to start climbing Holy Mountain Laneru. What do you want to enhance? I want to enhance my energy. Sure thing, leave it to me. Kind of funny that the sword is getting enhanced, but. Your energy gauge is now level 4. Nice. I'm assuming that's max now. What do you want to enhance? It's already fully enhanced. Yeah, okay, it's just the bow and the bombs now. I can actually upgrade the bombs. Sure thing, leave it to me. I'm assuming this means I can do the bomb shoes now. Which is pretty cool, but not super important. Nice. Bombs of Might now level 2. One sword from press A to pull a bomb, hold A to charge the bomb, transforming into a bomb chew. The bomb chew will rush forward and can also run up walls and ceilings. You can also use ZL to strategically target the direction you send the bomb chew. Cool. I don't have enough uh, crystals to enhance anything else now. But our energy is maxed out, and our sword is maxed out, so that's cool. Let's go see Dampe. I don't know... exactly which monster he wants, but... I have one... it was Mafia level 2 that I think was the one, right? Oh, would you look at that? Hmm, then we have a gander. That's it. Matches my concept perfectly. Thanks for finding it for me. Ah! Oh, I feel it in my bones. I'm burning with inspiration. Woohoo! <laughs> Keep the huge eyeball, then top it off with a glitzy metallic body. It's been strong. We'll add custom rockets to make it launch in a real showy way. Yahoo! <laughs> now that's what I call a snazzy automaton. I dub it the Tech Tight. Here, it's all yours. You got the Tech Tight. Yeah. It's a flashy automaton that can launch high into the sky with a huge jump. Better yet, when it jumps, it'll blast away any nearby monsters. So it's got some real kick to it. I hope you make good use of it on your journey. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Got the Clockwork Key. You use it to wind them up. It's a precious one of a kinder, so don't go losing it. These unusual creations are made by the automaton engineer Dampe. If one of them breaks, you can visit him and he'll fix it. While holding left and D, but you can use second automaton. Press Y to summon the automaton. To go. Looking for the cost repairs, but I'll fix up because new. Automaton's over there. If anything catches your eye, I'll make 
I'll make it for you, so go ahead and leave through. Oh, nice. Explosion galore. Concert. Jovial explosive automaton leaves destruction in its wake. Good stuff in there, eh? Neat, huh? I know. I know it'll be yet another ultra jazzy automaton, but the idea alone isn't enough. As usual, I need the proper inspiration to set me on fire, so I'm hoping you'll help me again. Let's see. A creature that spits stones out of its mouth. Won't be enough. Maybe it'll zip automaton. I need a bit more inventiveness on my part. Thinking a firework that whoosh into the air would be great for extra something. Yeah, I was thinking the f uh, that firework. Okay. You'll get one of my finest art pieces if you help me on this one. It'll be worth it. Okay, so right off the bat, it needs, or he needs, an Octorok. Oh, would you look at that? Hmm, let me have a gander. That's it. Matches my concept perfectly. Thanks for finding it for me. Only thing is, there's still one more step I, to sort things out. So close to the real zingy automaton, I'm sure you'll find me what I'm looking for. Up in Elden, huh? Uh... Goron City, probably? I don't remember who exactly it was, but... It was one of yous. Where is the entrance to Goron City? Oh, here it is. Are you the one I want? Yeah. Nope. Thanks for all your help. That'll set me down for real extra. I'm gonna work on not getting lost in the future. I'm gonna get a snack at the store when you need a little pick me up. I just my wallet felt the same. Oh my god, he's literally a pothead. <laughs> Fireworks! They're burst with color, spirit, and craftsmanship. I'm Boss, the local fireworks artist. Humongous firework displays are my life's work. I'm showing off my next creation, a celebration of our new chief. And I want to add a blast of color to my latest design. But even though I've been thinking on it for a while now, I'm not sure what it'll help. Or I'm not sure what'll help it feel fresh. And when Darson asked about it, I said it's gonna be amazing, so I gotta deliver. But you need blast powder soil to make fireworks, and I used all mine up while experimenting. I get more blast powder soil, but I also need to create a new firework, and I'm just one guy. Where to find it? Well, it's usually higher up on the mountain is a thing. These golden flowers like to grow on it, so you can usually find them wherever you see lots of them. Higher up the mountain with the yellow flowers in it. Okay. So we're looking for flowers up the mountain. Okay, shouldn't be too bad. I hope. What am I doing? I can just water my way up. I forgot I don't have the fucking thing anymore. done in here is there be kind of cool but no it's just just a cave 
with nothing in it, unfortunately. I'm looking for a cave so I can take, so I can harvest the dirt from it. Oh, I'm looking for a place so I can harvest dirt from. Here we go. A whole bunch of it here. Uh, I guess I probably need the whole mill then, huh? I don't really know how else to dig. Okay, no, I just pick it up. Okay. You should bring it to the fireworks artist and go on city. Can I collect more of it? No. Okay. Ah, uh, my ear. Of course, it's at the quarry. That makes sense, I guess. Ow. <coughs> I smell rotten eggs. Must find me some blast powder soil. Is that for me? Aw, oh, you got me right in the heart with your kindness. Downright inspiring, really. I just... Just... That's it! I've got it! I can adjust the blast powder ratio to make new colors like gold and aqua. That'd be the perfect thing to celebrate the rift. Being gone and Darston becoming chief. Now I've got to to work. I'll show him what a master the craft can do. You help me out, you get a front row seat for the show. Here we go. Nice. Papa, look, fireworks. Ooh, such pretty colors. Ah, uh, watching fireworks from a hot spring is like bliss, but better. Wow, I've never seen fireworks with these colors before. Boss's fireworks are the best. I'm so glad everyone, including Darston, liked the new fireworks. I can't thank you enough, but maybe this will speak for me. Got 50 rupees. That makes you really happy. Anything I learned from this is that you shouldn't promise more than you can deliver. Next time, the next time I'm in a pinch, I'll just be honest. And the firework echo. This device, Crunch Humans, Gorn Artist, and Larch is three fireworks in a row. Nice. Oops. I can just warp to down pace. Ooh, how many rupees do I have? I've got to be close to a thousand now, right? Nine hundred. Here. I do have the rupee one equipped. Shit. Okay. That. I am happy with those. I should be in the top, right? Because it's an item? Yes, it is an item. Boop. Oh, would you look at that? Mm. That's it. It matches my concept perfectly. Thanks for finding it for me. What? Oh. Oh, oh, I feel it in my bones. I'm burning with inspiration. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, it's gonna split stones so fast, so fierce, so flashy. And for the finishing touch, the fire rockets go here. Yahoo! <laughs> now that's what I call a snazzy automaton. Boom, I call this little fella the Talk to Rock. <laughs> Have a blast. <laughs> nice. You got the Talk to Rock. 
It's a snappy tomtom that shoots fireworks with relentless glee. I hope you make good use of it on your journey. Anywho, if it breaks, you know where to find me. What do you want to read? Ooh. Performance artist, endless stomach, chop them in two. All of them. Performance artist, concept, a cute fancy automaton that plays a chipper little tune and puts on a show. That one caught your eye, huh? I figured you got good too. taste, anywho. As usual, I need the proper inspiration to set me on fire, so hopefully you help me again. The base is the new art piece I need. A jiggly monster with cute little eyes would do the trick. That won't be enough on its own. I'll need a part that makes beautiful tones. Like something melodic around Hyrule Ranch at that point. Okay. What was the first thing it needed? Something jiggly with cute little eyes. Look at that. Another gander. That's it. Matching the concept perfectly. Now I just need to go find something for music at the ranch. Ranch is right here. Hmm. Ow. Like an ocarina or a harp or what are you doing? A customer. Oh milk, cool, I can buy milk. That's good to know. Someone I can make chipper tunes. Maybe the cat can make chipper tunes. Dogs, cows, horses, people, so many different animals here. Hyrule Ranch. Now I'm here. I can ride the horses and fill my belly up with fill, it, fill my belly up with fresh milk. Hmm. Oh, you fly away, Dan. Who would have thought the person to rescue your horse would be you? I appreciate your help with that, Princess. Thank you. Ow, my leg. Ow. My leg suddenly got itchy. Oh. Well, you decided to stop by. To pick, to take part in that flag race, please stop by while riding your, while riding your white horse. Hey. If good folks out from bad ones, I guess it's true. I mean, you're an amazing person. Our horse took to you right away. She knew. No. <laughs> what dog? You think a dog? No. Chipper tunes around the ranch. Show him a part that makes beautiful sounds. So he used to hear a lovely sound in the vicinity of Hyrule Ranch. Your sign. I can't take a sign. Goodbye. I'm taking this horse with me. <laughs> I can't just take the horse with me. Well, can I take the cow? No. Can I take the dog? No. Yep. 
can't take the cow. What about chat with you? Let's chat. Special stuff you won't find anything like it anywhere else. In our house, we'll be drink it with every meal, and we're all fit as fiddles. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> um. Maybe it's something I already have? I have that could be anything singing isn't from here. That's the drip tune. Ooh, nice. One. Fantastic. Is that something? No, it's not. Okay. I can't catch the butterflies this morning. Ah! Ah! Bird! <laughs> I'm almost dead. We got the music box from the horse races. You have a monster stone, don't you? I love those things. I'll take monster stones for a pair rather than rupees if you're interested. Just talk to me if you need a pairs. You need something? I want an automaton. 
Performance artist. Let's look at what you got there. It, it's beautiful. I can make an automaton with this. I can have your prismatic music box, right? It's all yours. All right, I'll take it off your hands. Oh, I feel it in my bones. I'm burning with inspiration. <laughs> it's squishy, cute, plush form. Yes, I will bring these elements forward in this creation. And next, combine it with the prismatic music box. Ah, it's probably some. Yahoo! But <laughs> nah, that's what I call a snazzy automaton. Ooh, sorry. Ta-da! I've dubbed this one the Gizmo. Have fun with it. You got the Gizmo. It's cute and sings and dances. Scatters groups of enemies with a with its playful antics. I've made good use of it on your journey. Anywho, if it breaks, you know where to find me. Endless stomach. And Tom Tom can then gobble up any monsters anytime. That one caught your eye, huh? I figured you've got good taste. As usual, I need the proper inspiration to set me on fire, so I'm hoping you'll help me again. Base art piece, let's see. Creature that swallows things whole with his massive jaws. Special part that can strengthen its ability to clamp down. I have I have the teeth. The 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 metal teeth things. What would that be? Is making swallow something whole? Chomp fin? It almost made me think of like oh wait no, Deku Baba! Deku Baba! Oh it's so big. Yep, that's it. Cool. Tom Tom and the stomach. Can you, can you give me the steel trap? Yeah, all yours. He feels in his bones. Woohoo! <laughs> Here we go. Spiffy head and huge jaws. And it's still trapped for real strong chompers. <laughs> That's what I call a snazzy top. <coughs> a high teku baba. Crunch, I'm calling it high teku baba. Let it feast freely. <coughs> you got the high teku baba. His hungry little tongue will gobble any nearby monsters. It chomps pretty mindlessly, so it'll munch up it. Rupees and anything else the monster's carrying. Hope you make good use of it on your journey. Anywho, if it breaks, you know where to find me. Chomp him, cut it, chop him in two. I first time I can slice through anything blocking its path. That one caught your eye, huh? I figured you got good taste. As usual, in proper inspiration. Basically, let's see. Monster with a sword who fights alongside others. So, uh, sword. Uh, Moplin? Yeah. I'm gonna have fighting spirits, only a special weapon. Yeah, Dojo and Kakariko, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking. Uh. I can actually read these. Tech Tite, a showy contract that uses built in rocks to jump high in the air, blasting its surroundings as it takes off. Talk to Rock. Fireworks pour continuously out of this dangerous automaton's mouth, causing flashy destruction. Gizmo. Filling the world with sparkling songs, this clockwork cutie breaks hearts and enemies. Hi, Teku Baba. This automaton has a big clockwork appetite. It swallows up any monster it can reach in one gulp. Ooh. Anyway, um... So it sounds like he wants a sword moblin. That's it. Cool. And I've got your sword, too. Chop him in two. Heirloom Katana. Here you go. And he feels in his bones. He's got some inspiration. Alright, I'll just I'll build a fierce automaton who can do this sword justice. I'll just install this rugged looking helmet. Yahoo! That's what I call a snazzy automaton. Slicey! 
This one's known as a Roboblin. Hacky Slashy. You got the Roboblin. Oh, I can't open my... Okay. That work of art shreds up monsters with its blade. Cuts right through their defenses. I hope to make good use of it on your journey. Anywho, if it breaks, you know where to find me. Any more? I want to see this. Uh, Roboblin. I didn't mean to do that. I want to... A deadly mechanical sword fighter whose flashing blade can take out whole groups of enemies. Nice. Get rich quick. A sparkling gold tongue really rakes in the dough. So you read my notes, eh? Finally came with an idea about how to turn that meanie of a crow into an, an automaton. Bring me that crow, will ya? I figured that critter would look dandy all glittering gold, so only a real special flashy something. I think I met a critter who's got some, a real shiny. I was wondering when those was coming. The Gerudo fan. Okay, so first he needs a crow. Oh, would you look at that? That's it, match my cons. It's, it's a crow. You asked for a crow, you got a crow. And here you can have the Gerudo fan. Get rich quick. It's beautiful. That'll do. I can have this golden fan, right? Of course. All right, I'll take it off your hands. Ooh wee! I'll make a sparkling gold automaton. It'll be my finest work yet. I'll use a golden fan for this part. Okay. That's what I call a snazzy automaton. Meet Goldfinch. Sparkle away. Ooh, it's a golden crow. Got the goldfinch. This is my flash automaton today. It'll attack enemies and send their roof. It's flying. Even better. If you wind up the clockwork key, you can hold the flashy thing and glide to fly. I hope you make good use of it on your journey. Phew, you know? I'm feeling pretty complete. I think that's all my heart wants to make now. I've never felt so light, so free, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my friend. Now I'm done making automatons for you, I'll show you my special treasure. I call it the Clockwork Bangle. If you wear it, you'll have an easy time with your automatons. Pretty tempting, eh? You want it, don't you? Well, if you insist, I suppose I can part with it. For you, anything. I'll trade it to you for five monster stones. Sure. One, two, three, yep, that's all of them. With that done, you can take this. You got a clockwork bangle. Dampet craft is a simple accessory which makes you which helps you wind the clockwork key faster. Yeah. Put this on your wheel to wind the clockwork key even faster. Cool. I'm gonna go test these out. Right, I need to wind up the, the thing. Ooh, nice. All right, let's try it. Let's talk to Rock. <laughs> Fantastic! I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> I can carry it around. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh no, he broke! Oh, it's fine. With a gizmo. Oh. Okay. The high tech Ubaba. Okay, it's just a, it's just a cool deck of other. This is this is one I'm excited for the Robo Blin. Oh shit! Okay, wow. Oh, I used a fairy. Whoops. Wow. Okay. All right. That's. 
Actually really cool. I like that one a lot. That one's really good. But here's the one that I'm really excited for, the goldfinch. If this helps me get rupees faster, I will not say no. Actually, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to want the uh, Robo Blend. Get him. Fantastic. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, 20 rupees. Cool. Oh, we're almost at a thousand now. I don't, I don't think it matters if I use my sword or spin into grass. You know what? There's some tactics here. Let's try out the goldfinch. Holy shit, that's a lot of rupees. Oh, I, f I flew into the water. Oh no. Okay, this definitely seems like this is going to be the way to grind rupees. Okay, I'm getting kind of tired of this beeping. I'm going to put down a fucking bed and heal. Oh, I think it's broken. Of course it's broken, it went in the water. Alright, let's go repair this, I guess. But yeah, again, this seems like it's, this is going to be the way to grind rupees. Is the, uh, the goldfinch. I don't. My Tom Tom's are super duper flashy. They're works of art and work like ch like a charm. I'm sure you put them to good use. At least, I think so. What should I repair? Use a monster stone. That was easy for a master crafter like me. Here you go. Your Tom's one's all fixed up. No thanks. Hey, I have over a thousand rupees now. Hell yeah. Let's go see the Great Fairy then. That's not the Great Fairy. I'd rather not be stuck with just 12 rupees, but we can manage. There's a couple accessories I still need to buy. Uh, I think there's one in Castletown still, and there's the one in Gakariko. There might be others, I'm not sure. A chest? Oh. Interesting. So where you come from? It's play just open a treasure chest without asking? Well, I suppose I don't mind. It's not as if there's anything of import in there. Oh, are you collecting those, uh, blue things? I see, I see. 
What if I said I could craft an object to help you find them? But, but, to earn it, you'll have to accede to my request. Not to worry, I won't ask anything too difficult. You were looking for something to do, yes? I would like jewelry, a pendant that sparkles like rupees. One of the highest eyes of beauty. There's a Griro who makes jewelry in the, high, the highest caliber. Get her to make up my pendant for me. Find her at her shop in Griro Town and talk to her about it. Now, off you trot. Do I have that already or no? No, I do not. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, hello and welcome, of course. How can I help you? Make me more stylish. Oh, looking to polish your style? This would be, have to be the last time, so I must insist on 1,000 rupees. Okay. How I adore rupees. Um, uh, as promised, I will enhance your style. Your excess of them has been raised by one. I see, I was right about your potential. You have become a genuine style icon. I have taught you to wear accessories. Choosing them is what you'll have to teach yourself. How can I help you? That's it for now. A pleasure, dear. I want these fairies. <laughs> I think I still have room for one more bottle, but... Yeah, I still have room for one more bottle. Okay, so we have to go to Gerudo Town and see if we can get a necklace or a pendant. Oh, and I can put our new accessory. Fuck yeah. What do I want with my last one? I guess I'd have this for now. Or I could go with the winding up speed one. I could go with more heart drops or more energy drops. I wonder if I can get more root. Uh, energy reduction or energy cost reduction a side quest you're Zelda right the one who got rid of the rifts in the desert I I've got a favor to ask it's something I can't really ask anyone else to help me with I don't want anyone else out here to over here so let's step inside So you haven't run any beetles, have you? They're gross little bugs that crawl perpetually out of the beetle mounds until you destroy the nest? Usually I'm busy with soldier duties, but right now I'm tasked with eliminating beetle mounds. I just can't stand beetles. Ah, oh, their nasty little legs and the way they move. I'd be wanting this to my friends, but they can't be bothered to help. So could you deal with the beetle mounds for me? I'll give you something good. The nests I'm supposed to deal with are in the cave northeast of here. They're swarming in there. Ugh. Let me know once you've gotten rid of all of them, and be careful about the borblins in the area. Okay. Let's we'll see this. Uh, the jewel, the jeweler. Oh, right. Let's me walk across quicksand. Hi, come on in. Welcome to Gruto Town Shop. Is that so? Well, yes, I do make accessories. I'm flattered the great fairy herself requests my artistry. Makes me happy I do what I do. I'd be thrilled to make something for her. I'll get to work just on it as just soon as possible. This is a rare opportunity, so I'll need, need special items. Nothing but the best for the great fairy. You need about floral seashells and magma stones. They're both quite rare, but I could make the most breathtaking piece with them. I need this to be absolutely perfect for the great fairy. Please bring one of each. Floral seashells? Floral seashells are unusual shells can be found in Zora Cove. They're very rare. So if you ask around Sea Zora Village, maybe someone, 
someone can help you find one. Magma stone? Magma stones are lovely amber-colored stones that can be found around it. Like we found at Elden Volcano. One of the Gorns at Gorn City shot must know a lot about minerals. Go talk to him. Got it. I know it's a bit of a trek, but it means I'll be able to make the best piece. Thank you for helping. Let me map. There's a cave. Where did she say the cave was? Beetle Ballyhoo. Oh, over here. I've been there already. I might have to go back there, but yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, Zelda, I'm happy to see you. Your journey going is your journey going well? Since you left, I've been hard as hard at work as captain of the guard. Just the other day, Chief Sierra ordered tighter security on the treasury, which I've improved. I placed some of my best and most trusted soldiers as guard there. But I feel like I could test things to see how well they'll do. So Zelda, do you want to test out the security I put into place? If you can steal the contents of the treasure chest in the deepest area of the treasury, you win. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, you want to help me with my job? Just go break into the royal vault. <laughs> Something that is 100% worth execution, but you'll be fine. Sure. That's the spirit. Treasure on the second floor of the palace on the west side. There's a soldier at the entry. Let's see what you made of, Zelda. I think I know. Yeah, it's there, right? We finally get to go in there, huh? I was wondering what we're gonna do here. We get to use the whole mail. Uh, whole mail. There's no way that's it, right? The Royal Vault contains... Some cactus? That's... That was the wrong treasure chest. Okay. Gotcha. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> okay. I am... Hidden. That's not, I don't want that. I have six trees now, it's amazing. No one can can get me. Some silk pajamas. Your hearts recover faster when you wear this comfy sleep while well resting on a bed. Looks like it's a dead end, but do you think that was a treasure? Let's take and get out of here. Uh, I lost. I felt confident in my setup, but I knew if anyone would find openings, it'd be you, Zelda. Clearly, there's room for improvement, so I'll use this information to make security even tighter. Thanks for helping out, Zelda. Oh, and you keep the silk pajamas you found as a reward from me. Aren't they luxurious? They're the pride and joy of our, our guru artisans. I even have a set myself. I'm sure your journey is challenging, so make time to luxuriate and rest where you can. Am I missing health? No, I'm not. I wanted to see the, uh, 
the effect of these pajamas. That's cool. It almost looks like... Here, let me actually get a bed down so I can see this a little better. It almost looks like... Yeah, it kind of looks like her outfit from... Like the... the uh, her cloth outfit thing from Breath of the Wild. With like the... You know the one. <laughs> I want an enemy to beat me up a little bit so I can see how fast we restore hearts with this. Ooh. Got 20 rupees, excellent. I'm starting to think maybe that's not even lipstick, maybe that's just her open mouth. You. Cause me damage. More. Oh, here, I can actually increase the damage I take if I take this thing off. That works. Let's get a bed down and see how fast this goes. Oh, that's way faster. Okay, cool. Nice, all right. Yeah, I like that a lot. No, no, I won't. It's gonna be way back, so I need, I can get, get it from here. Mm. Is this the cave? I'm assuming this is the cave. I'm assuming it is. Can I get off the horse, please? Thank you. Are you gonna attack? Oh, no rupees. Um. I'm also, I want my defense thing up. Uh, I only need one thing. Uh, where's the one thing that I need? There it is, Lionel. God, I didn't... I fat them the B button. They don't drop rupees, huh? Because if they did, this would be a fantastic way to grind rupees. Shame I can't ride the Lionel, but whatever. We're back to Grudo Town. <sighs> 
I keep trying to cross my legs on my chair, and then I realize, oh, yeah, this hurts. Uh, in here, I think it was. I think maybe. Yeah. You, you got rid of the beetle mounds. Thank you. You really helped me out. I'm gonna have my prize accessories. Thanks. It's made by a Grito artisan. A ribbon. You got a heart parrot. Makes hearts appear more often. Nice. Right, slut. Commander, what are you doing here? Uh. Apologies for bothering you when you're off duty, but I want to speak to you about the nests. Oh, um, yes, I just finished living with them. I was about to come tell you. Oh. I knew it. I, re I received a report they've been limited. I'm so impressed, Rasslet. Your strength, bravery, and commitment know no bounds. Next, I need help dealing with nests. I'll You'll be the first one I ask. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel pretty bad now. I claim responsibility for what was your hard work. I didn't tell the commander the truth. And now we're under trust and accolades when I was just being a coward. I can't let things lie this way. Next time I'll live up to our expectations. I'll overcome my fear of beetles and exterminate them myself. Okay, I hate wearing the cat suit, but there's a lot of fucking cats in here. I brought Mama a present, but then she got super duper mad at me. Oh, you didn't know? Mama hates bugs. I figured she you might be hungry is all. No, Mama hates bugs. Ah, okay. Ooh, scratch my backside. Don't you dare touch my tail. There we go. That's the spot. Pardon you. It's always I'm trying to sleep, isn't it? Oh. There's so many of us cats living here, but a home could always use more. Care to join us? <laughs> Way back when, one of my kiss, ki kin left town on an epic journey. She was headed for Jabul or something, or Jabul something or other. I wonder how she's doing now. Well, if I find a black cat near the Zora area, then I will talk to them. Try to an excellent dancer. Oh. So it is entirely possible that Link won't regain his his voice. That's a shame. Hmm. No cats in here. Oh, they can't hear though. There's a kitty out in the world who tells people useful information. Unfortunately for you, I am no such kitty. I have nothing useful to say. <laughs> I think every kitty is a useful kitty. Isn't that right? Oh, hi, River. I thought Bella was in here. Isn't that right, River? River? Hi. You be good now? Hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, River. Hi, baby. Come. Oh, hey, big girl. Hi. You have a good nap, baby? Want to say hi? Okay. You just lay down then. No, 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 no. River, lay down. Sorry, baby. Lay down. Hi, baby. Hi, River. Okay, she wants to go eat some food. Okay, yeah. Here you go, baby. Go on down. Go on down, sweet girl. Good girl, River. Hi, baby. <laughs> Well, I'm not seeing any new quests yet, but take a stupid cat costume off. Ah, Zelda's good to see you. The Grito people welcome you with open arms anytime. Hello there, Zelda. It's wonderful to see you. Please make yourself at home. You're always a guest of honor. I already spoke to you. You gave me the quest, and I broke into the uh, the royal vault or whatever. And stole some pajamas. Which I mean weird, but... Okay. You know, I could artificially boost... By just doing this over and over again. I can 
boost the line up in the most used tab. That's better. I don't have to move, just spam the button. I can't hold it, because that's just that does a distance spawn, but yeah. A better. Better. I have to get past P hat though, and I've spawned a lot of P hats. How about now? Nope, still blow P hats. Hey, it's above P-Hats now, still below the, the, the ropes, though. Oh, it's above ropes and trees. It's above rocks. One of trampolines yet. That's about trampolines. Cool. Obviously, uh, water is still my most used thing, but. Oh, we're just back here. Okay. <laughs> That's Zelda. How you accept Captain Donna's challenge? Our finest soldiers guarding the treasury. I hope you're ready. Got you now, intruder. Oh. oh. What do you think of the treasury? We've got our season best in there, so get ready. Oh, so that's it then. Eh? Ah, right. Tag. Okay. Oh. I want to check this actually. What's the difference? Oh, increased heart appearance. Okay. Like significantly increased. Okay. All right. That's cool. Nothing. Is there anything in this house? There's you, but you don't have a side quest, so okay. Okay, I need to go to the Zora and to... The not Zora. Zora and the Gorons. Oh, River's back on the bed. Hi, River. Hey, baby girl. She's a funny cat. Maybe I speak to the... The chief? To the hot Zora? Oh, wait. Maybe not. Monster on the sea. The people of Seaside Village. Hmm. But the real difficulty is finding just the right thing to put my treasure in. Ah, you heard all that, did you? I'm trying to work out a solution for something. I may as well fill you in. I want to store my treasure safely and securely. It's just a collection of sh shells and rocks I found while swimming, but it's treasure to me. And I'm quite proud of my collection. But I don't have room for it all, and I need something to store it in. That said, I I've had no luck so far. I, I need j It has to be just the right thing for, store for my storing needs. I'll find something. Really fantastic. Here's what I need. It's not much, but it's specific. I have to be able to store my collection securely inside of it. That means even though underwater, I don't want the contents to just spill out. I don't want the other Zora to know about my treasures, so I'll wait outside for you. 
I don't have a chest, do I? Oh, wait, the shopkeepers, right. I don't think I have a chest. Yeah, I don't know. Extra special. <laughs> Fortunately, smiled at me today. What a find this is. Hmm? Why does it feel like someone's staring at me? Were you drawn to it too, the sparkling beauty of this floral seashell? As a collector, I'm awed by this little shell's coloring and smooth texture. Uh, not to brag. What's that you need for something? But it's so beautiful. Cut it out with a staring, okay? You're making it hard to say no. Ah, uh, fine. If you want it that bad, they give it to you, but not for free. I'll give I'll give it to you in exchange for an unfortunate smoothie. Why do you want one? I've always wondered how a thing like that must taste. I have one, actually. That's I don't want the red potion. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Hey, you brought me a smoothie, thanks! Right then, down the hatch! Slurp, slurp. That gritty texture, the way it sticks to the sides of my throat going down. How do I even describe it? It's like rancid mud. It's so disgusting, it circles all the way around, it becomes delicious! I don't think that's how it works. I'm gonna cherish the memory of this atrocity forever. Here's the floral seashell, as promised. You got the floral seashell. It's material for the pendant. It's material for the pendant the great fairy wanted. You should take it to the guru of artisan. That is awful. Just completely repulsive. I'm hooked. <laughs> Anyone else have a, have a side quest for me? Maybe the Zora. No. Do you have anything new to say though? Oh Zelda, as always, welcome to the village of the sea, the sea Zora. We are thrilled to see you here, the one who saved Jabal Waters. You come up in conversation with, Chi with Chief Kashara quite often, Zelda. Your name puts her in the brightest of spirits. I wish I could put her in such a glowing mood. Still, when she smiles, it brightens my day. Is that really the only side quest here in... That's the only side quest here in Zora Domain, I guess. Interesting. What if I give you a pot? Here, especially for underwater, my character keeps spilling it underwater. I have an idea, but it's far from a good idea. It is an idea, though. I'm surrounded by monsters! Somebody save me! Oh, okay. Sure. I'll save you. Why not? I can't summon my Lionel, unfortunately, because it is kind of water, but yeah. Alright, I can have two. Hell yeah. Stand on my chomping, that's fantastic, I love it. It's actually really funny. Oh crap. There we go. I'm not tasty, I swear! Huh? The monsters are gone? Whoa, Zelda! Did you beat deal with all those monsters during the boat? Thank you, you saved me. Let's go inside. I've got something for you. 
Phew, I thought I was done for when those monsters surrounded me. I usually watch over ba Boss Drad's house when he's off doing his boss stuff. That's all I do, even during that mess with Lord Jabu Jabu. But I want to be more than just a stuff washer. I want to be one of the big shots. You can't be a big shot if you don't take big risks, so I went up to sea. Then this boat I borrowed got swarmed by monsters that got wrong pretty fast. Still, I'm glad I got out of the big sea. Showed me I've got nothing to worry about, really. I got out on the big sea. So what if boss has me working on small jobs? I'll be a big deal someday. Big as the sea. Oh, forgot to thank you. Here, take this. Thank you for the ten river horses. <laughs> Alright, time to get back to the village. Hang on, Zelda. Set sail for adventure. Full speed ahead. Uh, where's the boat manual again? Phew, got back here to Seaside Village, safe and sound. I'm gonna head home after I thank the guy who lent me his boat. See you around. Hey you, seen that big ship out there? The one in the southwest waters? I have! Well that's my ship, it's full on hard times, a real wreck now too. When I was a young sailor, I wanted to rule the Hyrulean Seas, a dream that takes zip. But when I got my ship out there, I ran into rocks, the hull got gashed open. I swam back to shore, feeling kinda, kinda feeling sunk myself, but I haven't given up on that dream. I've been making repairs ever since, slow work, but I'm getting there. Now my ship's been claimed by, by a monster that I can't get near, it zaps, zaps, zaps. At this rate, my ship's gonna be sunk. Then I'll be sunk, my dream, gone. I don't see a chance against that monster. It takes someone with the real zip to defeat that monster that zaps. I'm zippy. Aha, uh -huh, yep, I know the look in your eyes. Same look I used to see in mine. Now listen up. I shut that shit I shut the ship's hatch nice and tight to keep people he'll safe from the monster. You can use a lot of force to pry that thing off, then you can get inside. Monster huge jellyfish, it surely will make you zappy if they touch you. Be careful. Let's go beat up this big zappy jellyfish then, huh? Oh yeah, this place is danger. Wait, the lion can swim? Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, treasure chest. What the? Give me. More potatoes! Nice. This isn't part of the ship anymore. That is rock. Ooh, another, another chest. Ooh, 50 rupees. I'm just stealing all this guy's money. He won't mind, though. Oh, no, he does drown in there. Damn. I was hoping he wouldn't, but then he did. Someone tell me these aren't the jellyfish he's talking about. Mm. 
An apple. Nice. Oh. Oh, that's right, because there's a ceiling there, of course. <laughs> so he sealed it from making he sealed the uh, the thing from making sure anyone gets hurt. And then they uh He added a shit ton of puzzles too. Rupee 300. Wow, that's the first gold ruby we found. Holy shit, that's so much. He's cool, and there were five in the water here. Oh, geez, that is a giant jellyfish. Oh, my God, this thing is huge. Wait, he's not getting stunned. This dude's just immune to being stunned, apparently. I'll help! I'm no longer helping. Fucking destroys everything. So many rupees! And a, uh, the last piece of heart we need for uh, another heart container. 15. We are three quarters of the way done our hearts. Nice. We have now 542. Holy shit! Hey, a cave I haven't been in yet. All right, go ahead, kill them all. Have your fun. Go get him. 
Oh, he can't. That won't work. Hmm. Yes, please. God, I, I, I think I had to let all the uh, all the grass burn. Maybe I'm not sure. And that you're supposed to burn. There we go. I'm actually not even entirely sure this is what I'm supposed to do, but the only thing I can think of right now. If I... Okay, yeah, there's no way to sort it because there's only six things in here, so, yeah. I don't know what down is going to be. May have to put them all out. Actually, um, I just put them all out. Okay. Oh, another heart piece. Cool. I came over here. I want to find a chest. Here's a chest. Oh, wait, I need to tell this guy that it's done. That's a whole lot of something happening way out of my ship. Some flashy, flashy stuff. That's because of you? Did you make that zappy monster? Uh, did you kill- take out that zappy monster? Hey, that took real zip, kid. You saved my ship and saved me from feeling so sunk. I'm working on rebuilding my ship so I can stand up to anything and then adventure. Well, you zippy kid, you've got my thanks. Take this, you've earned it. <gasps> the last bottle! Hell yeah! Getting the ship all fixed up isn't easy work, but I've got the gumption to go get it done. That's a hell yeah moment. <laughs> That's actually really cool.
There we go. This is perfect to keep my treasure safe and, sim and simply beautiful too. You know, I recently found a pretty rock only to have an albatross steal it from me. That let me really fuss over this storage question. This chest will help me rest easy. Thanks again, I've got something I'd like you to have. Some un it's unusual stones I f found while swimming in the sea. I hope that they're a fitting gift. Oh, nice. Make okay, makes sense. Chest so nice, actually, that I feel awkward putting my things inside it. I think I'll polish my shells and rocks again before I slip them inside this. Cool. Must be me. Has Chief Kishara been avoiding me? What else could it be so suddenly? I must have done something wrong. She must think me an unreliable assistant. Oh, Lady Zelda, I fear you heard me going on about my predicament. You see, Chief Kishara has been acting a little peculiar lately. She's been leaving her village often ever since our troubles with the rift stopped. Yet when I asked what's taking her away from us so frequently, she, sa she says nothing at all. I did find out, however, that Chief Kishara has been assaulting Chief Jad on some matter. This isn't unusual given they were friends long before they were our chiefs. We're used to relying on all of us, Caesar, too. This makes me feel quite uneasy. Lady Zelda, can I trouble you to ask Chief Jad about this mysterious matter? Perhaps you can get an answer. I expect Chief Kishara told him to keep it from me. I will give you anything you ask in return. Just please help me with this terrible situation. Boss new assistant for a few weeks. We were together all the time, but now this I can't take it. Avoiding me, whispering with Rashara. Seriously, what's this about? I'm new, I'm learning, so I I get that you can't tell me everything. Still, it's good it's going on all the time now. I'm way past that, I'm boiling over. Huh, you wonder where the boss is? Hmm, <laughs> don't know. Ask the other revisors of the village. He's been talking to some of them. Maybe they know something. Fancy paper. Isn't that what the Caesar write letters on? Pretty sure, anyway. Oh, hi there, Zelda. Oh, you want to know where the boss dread's gone to? Only thing I know is he got a letter and then ran off in a hurry. Where? That, I don't know. I think I saw him talking to tell him. He might know. I'd say talk to the other Zora here. You might find some more. But where's tell him gone off to? That, I don't know either. Why don't you ask around? I fix up anything that was broken, like houses and bridges. And I made friends with one of the Caesar who came here to help. Well, that's cool. Then oh. boss Red, he walked off all of a sudden. Right in the middle of our talk. Tell him might know a bit no might know more about where the boss was headed. Tell him was went fishing east of the village, but I bet he's slacking somewhere in a corner. East of the village, huh? There's not very much room east of the village for him to be in. Get him. Mess him up real good. Wait, before you do anything else. the tree
Fair. Hell yeah, so many rupees out there. I've almost got too many rupees in it now. <laughs> oh, more rupees, nice. Oh, my Tom-Tom doesn't require a, uh... An echo thing, either. Standing here looking at the sky, all my cares just drift away. You should try some time. You look like you're always on the go. Oh. You're not home looking for. You, maybe. Tell him. God, found me. I'm not slacking, I swear. I was about to start fishing. Huh? It's just you, Zelda. What are you doing here? You want to know where the boss has gone off to? I don't know for sure. He mentioned Chief, Kazo Chief Kashara. It's a wild guess, but maybe he's gone to the cave in Zora Cove. The boss and Kashara used to swim, used to play there since they were old enough to swim. Used to be great for swimming races, but lots of monsters live in that cave now. Oh, I need to... Over there, okay. Oh, that cave! Yeah, okay. The one we found the, uh, the kid in. And, uh... Kashara, I, th I, I, I think Kashara was in there. Ah, Miss Zelda, I'm sorry I left my post. I spotted Chief Kashara, you see, and then I followed her here. Then Inawa followed me. Then I mean, Inawa found me. Chief Jai's been avoiding Inawa. We're in the same boat, it seems. She and I are going to ask the Chiefs what's been going on, but our timing is off. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Zelda, what brings you here? What, in our and Ragma said we've been acting different? No, we aren't. Not at all. You're being weird. Oh, you're being weird. Hmm. And now, please, we shouldn't. I want answers now. Boss, what's the big idea? Avoiding me having secret meetings with Kashara? Sure, I'm new to my job, but it's my job, and I want to do it right. Or not at all. Yes, I feel just the same. Perhaps some matters are for Chiefs only, but we are here to be of assistance. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> so here's the truth. The two of us want to thank the two of you. I'm not sure how yet, but it's our fault you two were put in harm's way during the crisis. We thought it would be best to put our heads together. Just Kashar and Drad, no formalities. We want our thanks to be personal, though we're still trying to figure out what's best. Looks like we bungled it, though. Didn't mean to make you two worry. It's hard to just be ourselves in Matt in matters where we should speak from the heart. So, Rogma, y yes. Thank you for saving me. I'm not perfect, but I hope we. I hope I can keep asking for your support. Chief Kashara. Of course, nothing in the world would make me happier. Hey, thanks to you too, Inawa. You know me. I charge right in, and I don't even see the small stuff. So yeah, thanks for keeping me out of messes before I make them, Inawa. Boss, I never knew you felt that way. But maybe you could charge in a little less and look around a little more? <laughs> Still, I'm a happy Zora. I'll work twice as hard to keep things on an even keel. It seems everyone's getting along fine now. You've helped us yet again, Zelda. You and that round thing you keep with you. I'm not a round thing, I'm try! Sure, sure, you got it, round thing. At some point, I'd like to meet this round thing you keep talking about. 
Yeah. Right, yeah, because she never went, she never fell into a rift. Thank you, Lady Zelda. You helped us clear up this difficult misunderstanding. You deserve something really special for all this. Please accept this brooch. <laughs> the gold brooch, hell yeah. I was like, well, wondering if we would find this. I think I'll return to our village now. I hope you'll come visit us again, Lady Zelda. Yeah, because I saw that we have the heart uh, accessory up. And I was like, oh, well, we have a rupee accessory. When we go rupee accessory up, we do. No, I have them both on. <laughs> I don't actually need them both on, but cool. I could probably have them both on and get a whole shit ton of rupees. Uh, okay, it's really just, I still have to do all the recipes, but yeah, now it's just Great Fairy's Request, which is easy enough. I need to go to Goron City now, which is here. I'll finish up this quest and then I will end it for today. Oh, there's another quest. Yeah, I'll take this one. Priscilla, have you seen Darston? Sorry, you need to bother you, but Darston hasn't come back yet. A while ago, we started hearing strange sounds coming from inside the volcano. Darston wants to investigate, but I'm getting real worried since no one's seen him. Last I saw him, the chief was headed for the summit. You plan on heading that way too? Would you keep an eye out for him just in case? Sure. I need to go to the shop though, which is in here, I, I think. Yeah. Minerals sure are great. Whether you eat them or wear them, they're good for all kinds of stuff. Oh, Zelda, how goes it? Interest in purchasing some minerals? Oh, I see you want a magma stone for a pendant. I don't have it in hand, but I know where we can get some. Wish I could go get one for you, princess, but there's a bit of a problem. The okay, where you can find magma stones is at the lava lake north of Goron City. But right now, a place infested with Lizoff foes, so I haven't been able to get one in ages. If someone would get rid of the Lizoff foes, we could get some, though. They've been real pests. Is that just a Lizoff barrow? A burrow or whatever? Ow, oh, my ear. Hmm. No. Ow. Hmm. I'm assuming that he means this cave. There are a bunch more of these walls here, cool. Hell yeah. Wow, we I saw someone head to that into the cave and got worried, so I followed. Who would have thought you'd take a Take down all those leaves off hosts by yourself. Bow me over. You're amazing, Zelda. You know the flame giants from Goron Legends? I bet you could take one of them down, too. Anyway, I'll go get those magma stones now. You stay here and take a breather. Ha. Whew. Ha. Got a bunch of them, but I'll give you the nicest of the lot. You got the magma stone. This is material for the pen at the Great Fairy Wanted. You should take it to Grudel Artisan. 
I got all the magma stones we should need for a while. This will be a big help, so thank you. I gotta go find Darston. Takes a while, huh? <laughs> mm. oh. There we go. over there, okay. Mm. Crap. Maybe he's in this, maybe this cave is finally used for something. Zelda, what are you doing up here? Mm -hmm. I was asking you to check on me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, mean to go worrying you all. Hmm. After this was, rift was mended, I started hearing these odd noises from inside Elden Volcano. I came to see if there's anything dangerous, and I found this cave. That sounds pretty dangerous. Whoa. I'm afraid this can only mean one thing. There's an old folktale about a flame giant who lives in Elden Volcano. Gorons don't mind fire, but this giant's supposed to be so hot it even burns us. The story goes that someone once put out his flames and trapped inside the volcano. Through so the sounds we've been hearing, are all the flame giant all lit up again? I hope it isn't. But if it is, we need to come up with a way to put out the flames again and fast. Let me go see. I'm not scared of a f some fire giant. I'm the goddamn princess of Hyrule. Where is... Shit, right, fuck.
once this goes back down, I should be able to... Yeah, cool. Good. No! Shit, that's not good. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Maybe I can make this work. Holy shit, I made that jump. Mm, not nearly high enough. Shit. one option it, it would work shit no no fuck off really oh anyway it works Barely. Go, 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 go! I think I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> Forget, I hadn't thought about that for a for some reason. Oh my 
Here. Still bugging me, still itchy. Ow. Oh, I don't need that anymore. I, 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 okay. I want the keys. And now I want the... Actually. Oh. It's windy out there. Ah, it doesn't work! Stone still there? Yeah. Shit. I hadn't thought about that for some reason. There's an easy way to do this. Two, so that means that the uh, the stone is still there, which is good. There we go. I need to heal before I go in there because that seems like it might be some sort of bad place. It's the first boss, but fire. Okay, I can fight him. I can take him.
What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh no! <laughs> You're not supposed to be on there! dead now. Crap. Oh, he's talking about some way to cool him off. Some way or other. Rain doesn't come inside, does it? No. Ooh, what if I don't need rain? What if what I need is wind? You're back now? Of course, okay. Okay, we're definitely getting a heart piece for this, but I wonder what the quest reward's gonna be. Seven hundred fifty six rupees, very nice. Yep. All right, so with that wind, I am going to be ending it as soon as I'm done with this quest. So, yep. just because the power goes out, that would be oh. not great. Zelda, there you are. You explored the whole cave already, <laughs> and you defeated the flame giant. It was real. Wow, I'm at a last loss for words here. First the rift, now a giant straight out of legend? You really are something else, Zelda. At least everyone in Gohan City can rest a little easier now. Thank you so, so much, Zelda. Here's a little something to show our appreciation. Goron's bracelet. You can carry things fast. Oh, nice! It's an heirloom bracelet that has been passed down through the generations of Gorons. I talked to everyone about it, and we all agreed you should have it, Zelda, for all your help. I'm gonna head back and tell everyone what happened. You take care of yourself, Zelda. Oh, okay. I am might be taking a risk here, but I need to go see the Great Fairy. No, I need to go see the Grudel Artisan. Ah, you brought me the floral seashell and magma stone. Thank you. Now I can make that gorgeous pendant I've been envisioning. I've heard that the great fairy loves objects of exceptional beauty and brilliance. And I think this will possibly exceed even her high expectations. Hang tight. First I need to polish this. Then the setting goes like this. And then... Ah, perfection. Oh, it's even more beautiful than I'd imagined. I hope the great fairy is pleased. Ooh, that is fancy. You got the lovely pendant. The pendant was made for the great fairy. You should bring it to her. 
<laughs> I haven't felt that much joy in my in my craft in ages. Thank you for the task. It was a pleasure. Go to the great fairy. I can grab another fairy as well because I have four bottles now. <laughs> oh, I can tell just from the look on your face. You've got to, you've, you got her to make me, <laughs> bad words. You got her to make my pendant. Show it to me, would you? Oh, yes. This is just what I wanted. It's gorgeous. It's marvelous. It's exactly my style. Somehow the finished article is even lovelier than I imagined. Oh, I feel simply incredible. You've earned this, darling. You got a mite bell. Lovely bell was made by the great fairy and rings when it senses the mite crystal nearby. Right, that's what this was for. That bell will ring when the blue pieces are nearby. I have no doubt you will find it useful. Oh, dear, you really are working hard out there, hmm? Well, I did go to the trouble of making that bell for you. I hope you use it. Is it an accessory? It is. Okay, cool. One of the fairy. That should be all my bottles full. Oh, cool, is the bell at the bottom? It probably rings down there when I, uh... Okay, I only have recipes, please, for that right now. Um... Save. There we go. So yeah. There we go. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did and aren't already following, be sure to do so. So that we know if I next time I'm alive, which will be tomorrow. Mmm, sorry. Mmm. Playing some more Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. We're very close to the end of the game. I'll uh, probably only have a couple streams left before we're hundred percent, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, uh, be sure to check out my Discord, where you can hang with myself as well as the rest of chat. Be sure to check out my YouTube, where you can see all my latest VODs, including today's will be on there. And I think probably no raid today, just because I want to just end this. So yeah. Uh, as always, I hope you'll have an... I hope you all have an absolute... Oh, <laughs> hey, Rox! Actually, I was thinking of not doing a raid today, Rox. But thank you. <laughs> I guess we can see who's live. So maybe raid. Maybe. Let's see who's live. <laughs> I have exactly... Well, I have, like, really one person live, but they're playing a game I haven't played yet and plan on playing very soon, so I'm not going to raid them. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, as always, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day or your night, and I will see you all later. Peace out, everyone. Sorry, hold on a sec. I need to fix something. That's the wrong one! <laughs> Sorry, for some reason they're both named Capture Card. Both the camera and the Capture Card. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So again, peace out everyone.